wacky news. Please say. Okay. What you drinking? I was jonesing for some pop. Holy so fuck. I went I went and got Be too low. The cherry zero. So that? at least I'm not having my carbs. Mm-hmm. The cherry zero is pretty good. Have you tried the orange vanilla? Uh-uh. Oh, that shit's bomb. Bright light. Oh, I got a one bar. Dude, I used to make those at Taco Bell. Did you? Yep. What? Mexican pizzas. Taco oh. Bell. Was that when you were an angry customer? And you Dude. stormed behind the counter? No, I worked Taco Bell for like a year and a half. I ate their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't know how I still like Taco Bell. <laughs> but that's when I learned all their dirty little secrets. Like the refried beans. Mm-hmm. You guys ever saw like rabbit pellets that you feed rabbits? Mm-hmm. That's what their free- refried beans look like. Just come yeah, in little pellets and you add water and stir it up. Dehydrated. Yep. And their meat came in bags that you just dropped in hot water. That's and gross. it was it was scheduled D meat, which is the same meat that they put in dog food. The same quality, I mean, I yeah. guess. It wasn't like a high quality meat. Same thing they see, I've seen many and we should probably talk about this on the show, but I've seen many things um disputing that, like saying that it's that's not true or that Grade D meat doesn't exist and shit like that. Hey, that's what was on the side of the box. There you go. <laughs> I mean, shit, you were Maybe there. It's I wasn't. Maybe changed since then. Maybe. Well, no, I definitely has. Yeah, they sure. definitely. Could be chopping yeah, up that filet mignon changed. now. But I can tell you what the box fucking said on the side of it, and it said Grade D imprints. <laughs> Ass. Maybe that's not what that meant in the cooking. I don't know. But you're talking about. 1998 when I worked there, I think. Nasty. Okay. Count us down, man. Five, four, three. Hello, you turkeys, and welcome to episode 26 of the side quest. Yeah, quiz is fucking do it over. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you still had it, man. I, yeah, I thought it was done. I was like, oh. Hello. 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 Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello, and welcome to episode 26. Fuck, I forgot turkeys. I've been, I've been not saying turkeys lately. <laughs> can't just start the countdown over. We can, All I can't right, edit we'll that. Looper reels, I can't baby. edit that. Go. I'm not going to edit Five. that. But. Come on, man. I'm trying to do a countdown here, <laughs> and you're just talking over I me. Sh- I shut up. You stopped. <laughs> Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Hello, and you're not supposed to two in the one. I know. So you taught me that. <laughs> I did teach you that, and I learned it from Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, count us down. All right, five, four, three. Hello, you turkeys, and welcome to episode 26 of the SideQuest Gaming Podcast, a weekly sometimes podcast where four longtime friends get together and talk about video games, television shows, movies, and just pop culture in general, whatever the hell I feel like ranting about uh, on this particular day. My name is Wes. I am one of your hosts. To my left, as always, is the Sasquatchy one, TJ. Hello. Above him, we have the bearded zealot. I don't know what that means. Zach? Ooh, I'll be a zealot. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And above me, the the pesky looking, annoyed looking German. Why are you, st- what is wrong with you, Pascal? My cat is like going all over my wires right now. <laughs> there you go. So. so hey guys, thanks for coming out and hanging out. Um, We got a, haven't had a show in a, a week or two, so. Here we are. Um, Number the hosts. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Um, I'm sitting here reading chat like an idiot. So whatever. But anyway, um, we got a lot of. Well, we have we have some movies to talk about tonight. Um, uh, kind of a special treat for you guys. We all watched 
the same movie um one one movie in particular we all watched and i'm sure we'll have a lot to say about that um other than that we got some gaming news but before we get to that we always like to play a little game of catch up and uh generally the way the bit goes is that um we act like somebody else is finally going to get to go first and then we always put it on the german anyway but this time we're going to do it a little bit different so he, he requested he's got some stuff going on at home that he might have to hop off for a second and so first i guess this Oil time domestic abuse oh <laughs> no, i don't think it's like that but he, might, he might have to get off and eat some food or something so um this time i guess we're gonna have to let uh one of these two guys over here to be zach or tj zach or tj ah, pascal why don't you go anyway man <laughs> yeah um because we're all jerks played, like that uh, yeah yeah you are um i did play a lot of video games um i think i played a lot more than any of you all um not not um i just tried to try out more games i guess and rather just playing battlefield which became kind of like a meme thing now like oh pascal always played battlefield so i'm kind of wanted to play something different um did you play any battlefield I did, yeah. yeah okay. He always Let's go plays play Battlefield. But compared to like, you know, every evening, like you guys play Apex or Overwatch or something, I played, you know, I didn't play. I that. haven't played Overwatch in like three months. Thanks, Apex. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> you should, though. Um, you're the good new at character's it. coming out soon. I, uh, once he comes out, I'm getting back to it. Sweet. Um, I did play um, a kind of variety of games. I played FIFA 19 starting off the week. Um, used my trial. I decided that, you know, let's try it. And, oh my god. <laughs> Tell me like, more. No, it's just, it's just, I don't know why people keep buying that. It's like, if I compare it to Provolution Soccer, where, yeah, you have some team licenses not there, right? But FIFA, man, the player faces look nothing alike the real player counterparts. Such laziness. Like, it's ridiculous. And the player faces in Provolution Soccer, they're all there. They all look like they're a freaking player and they look better. And I think I summed it up to West, like gameplay, Provolution Soccer, um, the whole like UI and, um, you know, league setup and how everything is animated, like the little short, like cutscenes, I guess. Presentation. The presentation, FIFA graphics overall like player likeness and how the players behave act look and stuff provolution soccer way better so if you get the licensing basically from fifa and put it on provolution soccer you have the ultimate soccer game but it will never happen so i don't like it i, I don't I know i would spend like 20 bucks for it who That's devotes a significant portion of all his time every weekend to playing the fifa leagues yeah, the weekend leaks and stuff. Oh, oh God. Stuff. Yeah, that's ultimate team. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's money just, grabs. I'm always going over there and I'm talking to him about Apex and stuff. And then he's like, oh, I had to, had to spend, play like 10 games on Saturday and 10 games on Sunday. I'm like, hot yeah. damn. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, Basically, I'm, World of Warcraft. Swain yeah, gets I'm, into that weekend league on Madden, man. That's a bunch of sweaty ass people. Oh, nope. No, Couldn't handle it. Speaking no. of faces, though. You made me flash back to like Rainbow Six Vegas. You guys remember <laughs> when I put my face on that character? Yes. yes the I whole do. time my character just runs around like this. Yes. <laughs> and with that your backwards hat back. on. Yeah, I had my camo uh -huh. hat backwards. That needs to come back to any and every game. Yeah, that was crazy. They, they used to have that. They used to have that in uh, FIFA yep. actually. Like EA game did that face, a lot. But, yeah. but they they <laughs> they stopped doing that. I remember you could do it in what was it Fight Night Four. Yeah, Friday night round four, you could map your I face think to so. it. Yes, you Maybe. did it online. You yeah, could upload yeah. pictures from your phone onto the EA's website. It was a pain in the ass. To do. I, I never looked did. like shit on that game. I tried um, to do it, but I couldn't get it to work to look right. I, it came out looking like the Kurgan from Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have Speaking a. I don't have a shot. Oh yes, I do. I'm making one. Oh, is uh, this happening? Do I need to go get one? Why not? I Fine. I'm only doing it because I had one in here. I guess <laughs> it's just going to be a standing rule as long as we have alcohol. If Swain says take a shot once and only once, <laughs> but every show, I don't have any bourbon. Um, but you got no alcohol. Shot. Sorry, guys. Zach will be happy about this one. I don't have any it's bourbon. I had to get Burger King instead. Maple. That's his maple right there, Zach's maple. Uh oh, makers. 
Got the makers going Damn, on. Damn, this is straight out the bottle. Well, yeah. <laughs> Am I going to dirty up a glass, man? I got to do dishes by hand. <laughs> Dude, that's my first shot in like <laughs> two months. What about last night? <laughs> what was last night? I didn't take one. Oh, I thought you did. No, yeah, no. Last, yeah, Swain did get me to take one. Yeah, yeah we know now you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> now I forgot all about that. I thought that was two nights ago. <laughs> shit you not. He said, <laughs> "I ate two pieces of string and they came out tied together." I shit you not. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Seen that meme on Facebook. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Ultimate Team hierarchy in games like with EA like it's just like this gambling thing and I wouldn't mind if it's like a separate thing but because of ultimate team all the resources go in there where they actually had like a statement where like well a majority of our players plays ultimate team so because of that we don't want you know hey you got the Champions League presentation now on FIFA why would we why would you put anything in the single player careers that's you know? why I think they should put ultimate team out for free every year monetize the shit out of it with microtransactions like it already is and then let people that like madden like old school madden head to head with real nfl teams not drafting and paying and building your your deck and all that shit and doing franchise mode and stuff with your teams for seasons make that like madden own, almost like fantasy and guess who basically that. and everyone plays their own character or own teams well and just have so like have ultimate and, teams separate so that you can just do whatever yeah. the hell you want with that stuff and then leave that shit out of the real game and guess I who guess does I assumed that that was what you could do i didn't know you couldn't you do can't that. you can but the thing is is that it's what that's what makes them the money like by f it makes them so much money that that's what they devote all their time to and it's a good gotcha. product it really is but I just, it's not what I want. I, I don't. I I feel like it's force feeding you. Uh, like it's like it's like dangling the carrot in front of the horse for a matter of months at a time, where you can get this card, but then two months from now you're going to get the same person with a card that's you know twenty percent better, and then two months from then you know the same person or same. You know, they they just constantly release better and better cards. Mm -hmm. So that you never really are as good as you can be, and you're constantly chasing that next best card. And mm -hmm. I, I just I don't like that rat like race. Record breaker, card. <laughs> ass breaker. It's like, hey, your breaker Wilder. was awesome. We ha we have like Michael Jordan here, or you get the Michael Jordan record breaker two months later because you know that's the go to card. Yeah, it's stupid. Um, Pro Evolution sec uh, Soccer. They actually do that. You can get the My Club, which is the ultimate team um, thing equivalent. You can buy that, or not buy that, download it for free right now. I think on PS4, Xbox One, PC maybe. I don't know which platforms. I, th I know for a fact on PlayStation 4, though. Um, you And that's all it is, the ultimate team equivalent um, of that stuff. Um, and if you want to have the other things, like the career mode and all the other stuff, you can actually, yeah, you buy the game, I guess. Um, so they actually start doing that. So maybe EA does it. I don't think so, because pe people keep on buying Madden and FIFA. So why would they offer right. them for free? Because they buy it anyways. Um, then, so yeah, I do not want to buy a FIFA again. And if I do, it's going to be like for like $15. On and sale. you know, you will, just like I'll buy Madden again. If they make you motherfuckers can't fool me, so I'll buy Madden make, next year too. Make, I know I will. If they make, um, if they make drastic improvements to the career, the single player career, and update the player likeness of medium known uh, See, clubs, so that's it doesn't cost anything anymore to just have a pick. I mean, freaking uh, Konami can do it. Like right. they're based in Japan, so you tell me that they can have all the smaller clubs licensed completely with their faces look to ninety nine percent like them. Like just take the picture and scan it. Boom, done. Like that's all it takes. Like because if I have a player that has like blonde hair or black hair, and all of a sudden in the game he has like an afro and is black, even though he was white, like what's going on? Like that that's ridiculous. So that's kind of the immersive, like the immersive factor is gone for me, especially when I want to play with my club and my club is going through like, um, like my real, what I'm fan of, they're going through like a tough phase right now. And because of that, because they're not the success fan club where everybody's like, Oh, they win everything. Let's be a fan Suck of this fans. club. Yeah, 
Oh, I thought you said suck fest. Sorry. No. Fest. Got it. <laughs> no. It just happened. Rip ears. No. You know how, how some people are just fan of a specific sports club because they always win. Like, Patriots? So, yeah, so if they don't win, they don't they don't, you know, follow them anymore. So my team is one of the biggest clubs in Germany, but they're not really that successful, right? But I still support them. Um, so, but anyhow, Provolution Soccer supports those uh, clubs too and puts their faces in. EA doesn't. They don't give a fuck. So, and that's, you know, why I always go on my hate EA rant because that's all it boils down to where developers are like but they are owned <laughs> by west Ed too like they're owned uh by ea you know bioware dice all my developers that i like they don't have anything to say because ea makes the decisions as a publisher gives the money says okay you put research in here nothing else or nowhere else so that's what we live with and it will only change if people stop buying it but they won't so um then i played um just cause 4 because it came on game pass so if you're an oh, xbox oh. or pc with game pass you can play that i actually like it because on uh three on xbox one just cause 3 was good but i hated it because the frame rates were like 20 even on the xbox xbox one x the more powerful console it was like 20 to 30 frames and it was a shit game yeah yeah so but with just cause 4 i have stable frames yeah the graphics are a little bit less but there's like events with tornadoes and stuff and i don't think it's gonna it's a great game i think it's like a 6 or 10 kind of game where you just go in and you know do stuff and Wes, already look at you. Like, I don't want to hear anything about, well, Angry <laughs> Joe said this I didn't guy, listen to a guy. fucking thing Angry Joe said about that game. But it was totally somebody else I was God. talking about. And I wasn't talking about that anyway. I was talking about because... the comment in the chat about you not talking about Battlefield. That's why I was making that face. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> you, always, you always do that. So the game, like a lot of people... But Angry Joe like said it. that... No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. A lot of people didn't like it. And... I honestly don't care because if I play a game and I enjoy my time with it, then that's all I care about. Especially in this case, I didn't spend anything on it. Technically, yeah, right. I, I bought the Game Pass for like 30 bucks for a year. Um, so I kind of did pay for it, but... So are like you Rico cents. again? Yeah. Huh? Are you Rico again? Oh, uh, yeah. Are you it's on a, the same a... stupid fucking island again? No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> you're on a different... Uh, area um Does but it's it cool like, like, the same they, like they have like tornadoes and stuff and weather events blizzards and stuff like the tornado is pretty cool actually. i heard you could tether fun. cows to cars and like blow them up yeah. in the air you can you can also put like balloons like with your grappling hood balloons on like a bus or something put some rocket blasters on it and then pop the balloons like they blow up like you can adjust like how big the little balloons are and you oh, can actually man. have it like a little bus rocket ship. Awesome. Like, Blow the balloons on YouTube, up as big on as YouTube, you there was a, <laughs> On YouTube, there was a video with, where somebody like, hey, let's create a battle bus from Fortnite. And it actually worked. Like the physics are pretty cool. Um, but I played it like for two or three hours. Um, then uh, I think the, the game that I kind of want to talk about the most is uh, which I just paused playing. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and I wasn't a big fan of the other Tomb Raiders, the reboots, um, like the Rise of the Tomb Raider and stuff. I wasn't like the biggest fan of them, um, just because I couldn't get into it, uh, because I always had like the Uncharted bias. Like I like you know the Uncharted kind of universe a little bit better, and I didn't give it a fair enough shot. However, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I really do enjoy, and for the viewers, listeners. With my thing, a lot of times is if I play an action adventure game or something like that, I don't care if it's the greatest game ever, but I always try to be like, like, hey, for six, seven hours, I want to imagine myself that I'm the person that does the adventure. If it's a woman, I'm sorry. Like, I can't really immerse myself in it. Nothing, like, nothing against people who enjoy the games, but for me, I the immersion factor, you know, immersive factor is gone. Can't so, pretend to be a woman? Captain Marvel yeah. hater. Captain I'm not. Captain Marvel hater. I mean, I don't gender do assume, it. but I just didn't um, know why. But that's, but that's like, when, when games give you an option to create a character, like, I not once make myself a female character because I always want to be, okay, I, when it's a character creator, I try to create a character that I think I should look like or be in that universe. And 
that's just how it rolls. So Shadow of the Tomb Raider, though, did the unthinkable, and I actually enjoy it and see it more as a movie rather than as me trying to be in that person or be that person. So, which is a really good thing because I was like, man, I'm hooked. However, with that game, there's one thing that it does completely wrong, which compared to Uncharted, the pacing. My God, like some things just take forever. While Uncharted, especially 4, found the perfect balance between puzzle, action, and exploring. With Shadow of Tomb Raider, it's kind of like, oh, I have to go back and forth, go back and forth, go to A, go to B. Now I have to go back there again because I can't have that equipment yet. And it's kind of... It's they too sort of did me. that this time, though. They Not as much, but they sort of did it again. But I will agree with you. The puzzles they brought back, I felt like I was playing, like, original Tomb Raiders. And that's great. I mean, I've, I I played Shadow of the Tomb Raider for, like, what, like, four hours? I, I just made it to, like, a hidden city or something. Um, played a little bit there. I unlocked the shotgun and, like, some other, like, weapons. Um, but I honestly... I I like the puzzles itself. Well, you really the, do have a Mexican mustache going on. I, Sorry. I know, man. <laughs> Shut up. Um, Hola, so, donde esta tu obra? Hola, hey, gracias. Donde esta la biblioteca? Um, Señora. Uh, la biblioteca on the left of... Coke with <laughs> real sugar. <laughs> izquierda. Go izquierda. Yeah. Um, the, the, the one thing that I don't um, like was the pacing um, from a... It's not like, I don't know, and, and it even gives you like sometimes to skip cutscenes because those little like world conversations that people have like, and I'm like, okay, yeah, you want me to get you a little like king's crown or whatever as a side quest. Like, I don't really care. I don't, I don't want to listen to you how you lost it. I don't care. So you think they should have left it more movie it. pacing like the first two? Yeah. I mean, I mean then, yeah, it's just like there, there are some fetch quests that I notice. Um, where you do one part of the quest and then you go back to talk to him, mm-hmm. bring him that item after an hour of trying to do that, what he wants you to do. And then he sends you back on the all other side of the town and map. And then you have to go through this. Because you, you need that. this one thing to open the thing that was and where you reward, just were, even though you've already been through there. The re- and some of the rewards were like, that's it. Like <laughs> nothing else. And so, I don't know. And one other thing is speaking of uh, immersive game worlds, a lot of characters look the same, like the NPCs, and I hate that. I hate when you talk to, my name is uh, Roger, and I've been in this city for five years, and then Daddy. two feet away is like, Daddy. my name is Andref, I've been in this city for one day. And I was like, Andref, Roger, why you look the same? Like, <laughs> they, they, they look the same. So I didn't like that at all, and I think it's laziness, um, to be honest, because Uncharted, again, didn't do that. So... Overall, though, I think the game is great, and I would give it, like, so far, I'm not done with it yet, but so far I would give it, like, an 8 out of 10 right now, just from where I'm at. Obviously, there's still improvement stuff. I would never give it a 10 based on the, which I call laziness with NPCs looking the same. Well, people say, well, it's not really resources, you know? It's like, I don't care. I mean, it's a AAA game. Was that what it received, though? Didn't it receive a 10, or was it a 9? I thought Uh, it was high. uh, It was the third one. The third one got shit on, as far as I remember. Jack's here, I tell us. The third one got shit yeah. on for its pacing and for making you go places, repeat going to places, backtracking to get items that you didn't have before to do. Things. IGN gave it a 9 out of 10. I thought so. I thought it was even higher than that before. Well, it IGN came out. gives every well, like, Call of Duty game. The first. It's just telling you. Steam, nah. it's a 7 out of 10, but that's all user. Let's check out Metacritic real quick. You guys. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I think. I mean, I don't know. There's this one moment where I will be like, wow, the graphics are awesome, especially on the One X. I, I like the graphics. Um, obviously, PC probably, you know, I mean, probably better, but it's nice to have, like, the 4K visuals and stuff, which or checkerboard rendering. I don't know if that's native 4K on the X, maybe. Who knows? Because I only get 30 frames if I do high um, resolution. But it looks great, regardless. Um, um yeah, that was kind of like my my um, game this uh, afternoon. I played um, Dragon Ball. I played some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Five on 75. Metacritic. That's not too okay. bad. Oh, it's kind of like in my ballpark of things. I think like where I'm at right now. Like, you know, not not like the best game of all time, but definitely up on the great list. Um, there's some real. There's some forty reviews here. Like, ouch. Um, I played Xenoverse too. Like Dragon Ball. If they're yes. Dragon Ball fans. 
they added so yeah. much free content and they actually added also like some paid content like for like six bucks you can pick up like the new from the new movie new characters and stuff um new quests for it which is cool but i was just surprised by i haven't played in like a year and i was surprised in how much free shit they added to that game like a whole like figure collecting game where you can just you know do little battles and stuff with like figure like it's almost like a card game or you know like a collecting game like I don't know what how to you do can it. Do with the collections, you can fight and you can uh, level them up. You can uh, trade them, uh, buy more in the store with like you know ultra rare versions. Kind of like a card collecting game with figures, okay. I guess. But it's like in game. Sounds like, like you know you can battle against each other online. Who has the best deck? It's pretty cool, actually, man. And each character has different unique abilities and stuff, and it's pretty interesting like you actively don't fight you just kind of arrange and do like strategies and how you put them it's like called the hero coliseum i'm really bad at explaining it because i don't know how to explain it but i can see i don't know i think it's like uh clorox cleaner nice uh i think it's uh... the desk clean man (laughs) nice um i feel like it's uh it's different uh i don't know it's like dragon ball ultimate team (laughs) <laughs> no, yeah, but the, but the with the kind of thing where you don't need to pay anything at all. Um, um, like I got like you can get like the premium currency. I think you can buy too, but you don't need that because I got like three hundred of them just from logging in, and from just doing challenges, you get them. It's not like ult- It's not like like ultimate team at all. Like it has a complete different feel with it. Um, especially the stuff you get from just playing like the story and the the single player battles and stuff in there. It has like their own additional story. Then they add like random events where like freezer storms like the time travel place, and you have to fight off a bunch of like freezer soldiers and stuff. But it's pretty cool because this game like they got their money, and yeah, they made some money from the character packs and stuff. But at this time, this game is like two or three years old already, and they're still pushing out content. That's pretty cool for like supporting the game. So I didn't mind buying like a six dollar um, character pack from a character that I really wanted. Um, you know, uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse Two. Uh, you walked away, so it's a great like it's, it's incredible how much they added, and I actually had a lot of fun playing that little mini game there. Um, then. That kind of sums up my um, games. I played a few other games that didn't like get my attention that much. Like I've, I've played um, what was the one game, Blood Moon or something. I tried that for a hot minute. And I was like, eh, Castlevania kind of. It's I don't know. It's like a Castlevania ish um, kind of game. You know, I, I played it for like five minutes and I was like, nah. I, I'm just like a lot of people like those indie games, side scrolling kind of stuff. I don't, I'm not a fan of it at all. I'm I'm away from that area era of gaming. Um, I don't need side scrollers anymore. I don't want to play them. The the only exception I would make is Cuphead, but that looks incredibly difficult, and I don't like the too difficult God, games. That fucking game is so frustrating. <laughs> it's so good though. It's like yeah, it looks like the it, art. It's so really well good. made. Um, yeah. I had a question. Did you play any more Ace Combat? Uh, I did. Yeah, actually, thank you. Yeah, I did play a little bit of Ice Com. It's still like it. I like the the airplane tree where you can, you know, through the story, you can kind of like a skill tree. You will unlock more um, planes. You can upgrade them, customize them. It's pretty neat. And I heard the multiplayer player is also pretty good. Um, so uh, yeah, I definitely need to finish the story there. But I feel like I'm like years off. Like I'm like at mission like ten or something, and I still think like it's not endings anytime soon right um i be yeah thank you for reminding me i played that played a little apex got a few wins and which is only when i run with a certain amount of people like if i have like you know with west or something we always make like top two and then leave no now i played apex um i'm the only one in this entire group that hadn't won a game i need to play the game more um but <laughs> yeah so it's like was level nine like, that was kind of like oh, it um okay <laughs> I wanted, I almost impulse bought Division 2, but then I looked at gameplay from people that I know, and I was like, nope. Looks like Division 1, no. right? Yeah, I mean, there's not enough, there's not a lot of bullets bunch of enemies anymore, and I heard the end game is pretty cool, but no, nope. <laughs> not my thing. I don't like cover shooters that much. Oh, I do. Yeah. What, 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 I love cover what did you like about it? Um, 
that it looked a lot like the first one. Okay. Uh, looked I... better. Um, and the I don't like that you have to go into cover, wait, then the whole loot thing. I don't know, man. There's like so many things where, I, where it would turn me off of Division 1. And the bullet sponges are not as much anymore there. But I still saw like, you know, that there could be the potential of later on. Here's this one enemy with like a leather jacket and you have to hit him like 50 magazines long. Um, that's how it looks like. I might be completely off, but that's what I could see. And I know the grind at the end game that everybody likes. And uh, Zach just left. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Zach. Um, <laughs> hi, welcome back, Zach. Um, but yeah, so that's my, my fear with that uh, whole thing. And I got panic text messages no um the i don't know how to explain it why i don't like this game it's just that the whole formula of the cover based shooter i think gears of war is a lot better where there's a lot more um action involved where you don't necessarily have to go in the cover you don't which... like going into cover and then pulling up a menu to decide what you're going to do next like throw yeah, a grenade. Yeah. It's just kind of like the whole, it's like too tactical or stealth base where you kind of have to, you know, I don't know. I just, it's just not my thing. I like it more, you know, yeah, you cover is good and smart if you don't want to die, but it's not like part of the game design. And, you know, part last of the fucking of us, game design when some us. bullets start flying at your ass. Right. Last <laughs> of Us did it also. I don't know. It's just, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't like, feel right and i remember the first one i played it and i got so impatient where i just kept kept on dying because i was like man this sucks man i keep on shooting this motherfucker because he had a fire hazmat suit on you know like i don't i don't want to keep on shooting him and you know he doesn't have more armor but you know anyways it's just it's just not my cup of tea so after i watched that and kind of confirmed that it is kind of like the first one which is not a bad thing by the way um i just con reconfirmed that that is something maybe that if Wes picks it up at a certain point, like doing like the winter sale ne this hint, year, hint. you know, I'll play it, but it's also going to be only a game that I only going to play with you all or, you know, because I'm not going to play this, you know, for the single player content because no, fuck no, it's not my cup of tea. Um, yeah. So that was like my little, profits. um, <laughs> my gaming. I had two week, cups of tea um, earlier tonight, actually. I oh, want some more. Played, I played my main game, uh, but not for a lot, just to get some challenges done. Um, there are some news, I guess, not really, but sort of, but I'm not going to tell them they're going to be maybe next week's content when there's more confirmed because Tuesday, a new trailer for BR Firestorm comes out, official trailer. Um, but that is something that uh, we're going to can discuss uh, next a week. Thumb is not a finger blitz. Um, so then. What else? Uh, movies. Um, I besides Deborah Logan, which I saw six times, so I know most likely every scene in the movie on my head. Um, I didn't watch anything. Um, six times? Did you need it to go to sleep? I guess. Or? <laughs> no, I, I just, I just, I just like it for before we get into that part. I just like it for what it is. It's an indie movie, and it's in my eyes well done up to a certain point, but. I uh, I just like it. It's just it's different in a way, and it has one of my biggest fears, which is Alzheimer's or dementia in it. Okay. How people act, and that is for me scarier than a lot of things. Just imagine that somebody that you know just goes completely nuts and doesn't remember we'll anything get to about that. you. But anyways, yeah. God, West, you're so so like grumpy, like an old grumpy cat now. I'm sorry. It's I'm your sorry. white beard. Santa. <laughs> Santa. Santa. Santa don't give Stop no being breaks. Mean, Santa. You're on the schedule. Um, I watched a TV show on Netflix uh, called Afterlife, one of the shows where my girlfriend started watching it, and I was like, "Ooh, what is this? Let me watch." <laughs> um, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, one second. She's home. <laughs> Are you wearing a kilt? Ooh, mirror. It's like, don't say anything. I'm on a podcast. Don't let the it's don't weird. let the little white kids out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had uh, the lock locked. Like oh, the she opened up the door. It was like, clong. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, What's she bringing? What's she bringing? What's she bringing? No, it's just uh, uh just some snack. No McDonald's. shit. What, what is it? What is it? Um, and, and McChicken and a drink. Ooh. Um, the uh. 
we she started watching Afterlife, and I was kind of like, uh, eh, I don't really want to watch it that much. But then we were, I kind of like started watching it with her <laughs> for the I think two days. It's not long. It's not a long show, but it's actually pretty cool. It's a TV show with uh, Ricky Gervais, and it's kind of like uh, the road from depression. His wife died to cancer, and um, like kind of the road from being super depressed to yeah being happy again i guess and finding that way is probably the best explanation but it's funny and sad and funny because his wife always does like little did like a diary before she died like hey this is what you should tackle today kind of thing you know but it's pretty pretty funny and um sad yeah so i like that show i'm definitely worth watching afterlife and yeah, watch a little bit supernatural. Um, but that is about it. That was all my my week. Awesome, 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 well, awesome. Who goes next, Pascal? Zach. I man, no hem hawing around about that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I actually opened up and played more video games than just Apex, Pascal. Oh, um, burn. Not a lot of them, but I did. Uh, I fired up Nio again that I haven't played for ever. Uh, streamed a little bit of it. It did not go well. Uh, I forgot how hard that game is, and I got my ass kicked and couldn't even beat the first level. So that was like an hour of the same level over and over again, dying oh over boy. and over <laughs> and over again. So that got a little boring, and then I switched over to Apex. Um, I played. A bunch of XCOM this weekend. So I was busy helping the girlfriend make cake balls. So I played some XCOM while cakes were in the oven and then went in and did the work and came back and played X Apex or uh, XCOM. I forgot how much I really liked that game and how kind of brutal it is. Um And you said you were having a really good uh game on it, right? I am having actually a really good game. I've only lost one dude. I'm assaulting the alien base right now. I haven't lost any countries yet. Um, taking it slower than I usually have. Man, everybody's just cracking up about this balls thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> moving on to the screen there, Wes. Later, Blitz. Sorry. Bye, Blitz. Bye, Blitz. Um, so, yeah, I played some XCOM. Enjoying that. I, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to play through that, finish it, and then move on to the second one. I'm, I've gotta, I'm going to play through my other games. I was sitting out here playing some Warhammer over the week and my girlfriend comes in and she just goes, why don't you play a different game so you can have something to talk about during the podcast? And I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm okay, glad. Okay. Yeah. Who, yes, look at that. Yes. My girlfriend. See, I should have said that a long time yes. ago. Okay, one chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> the best just one ate. cat, one chicken. Right? <laughs> the cat just ate his chicken. <laughs> What happened? Um, I thought I was going to die. Barely talking to us. Um, so that was, that was maybe a little eye-opening for me. Gonna, gonna try. Although I can't get enough Apex. <laughs> I just can't get enough Apex. As long as it's not oh, PUBG. Play. Jesus there's, Christ. There's a Nerf gun that we have at work that's sitting on an end cap that looks just like the R301. And every time I walk past that, I'm just like, man, I wish I was playing Apex right now. <laughs> Every single time. Um, I actually uninstalled PUBG last week to make That's room for amazing. the other games to download. I'm just I have no no interest in playing that right now. With how smooth Apex runs and everything. I'm Why is not... that? Because the the performance of PUBG? Yeah, because of the performance of PUBG, because how slow the game feels and how long it feels like it takes to get through a match and uh, yeah, I, and just how much better I feel like Apex is than PUBG. I don't know I like. I guess the only thing I miss from it is having a four-person squad. It's just really amazing that you could spend so much time playing that game. Like, think about how much time you've put into PUBG, and you just drop that shit like a fucking bad venereal disease. Yeah, I haven't picked it up since Apex came out. But you know what's not about venereal diseases? Once. Not they much. Don't go away. They don't I go. Mean, I mean, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them do. If yeah, you uninstall them, they I do apparently. The, yeah, the clap does. 
Let me get out my uh, let me get out my Q-tip. You got those scrapers that go in and they open up and you pull that sucker out. Is that gonorrhea? Is that I, don't that know, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Pretty sure. But I'm pulling anything out. Get the little clamps uh -huh. and you pull it open. <laughs> Yeah, and then you stick this tube in there, and you, like, spin it, and then, like, a little disc pops out, and then you just scrape the inside of that tube out. Are we even talking about the same thing? I don't know. I don't know. What kind of, what is this oh. disc you speak of? Yeah, man, pee -pee it's like a hurts. little, it's, yeah. You put it in your pee, pee and then you, it opens up, and you scrape out shit that's inside the <laughs> pee tube. Thank you for ruining my dinner. <laughs> 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 okay, moving on. Moving on. Um, I think that's really all I played. Like I said, it wasn't a, a whole bunch of different games. Uh, have I talked about how I played some Apex on the Xbox? I don't think I've talked about that since. Mm, I think that was. Stream. Yeah. Um, that was the weekend that we were off. I played some Apex with Crazy Killer. A couple rounds of that on the Xbox and had a good time. Like, we got pretty far. I will say. It's been a long time since I've played a game with any sort of aim assist on it. And holy shit, does that make that game kind of easy? Like, just, yeah, you said it was like mad it aim was assist. Like, mad. It was, it was nuts. Like, you hit the left trigger, and it almost seemed like it was better for me not to touch my right stick to aim at someone than just let the game take care of it itself. I felt like I did better. <laughs> I, I don't know if. It kind of um, depends, though. On when you look at the playing field, though, everybody has that, though. But was it but you played on what on the console, right? So yeah, we're saying, on the Xbox. Uh, yeah, I don't, I never really noticed because I guess I always play like on console. I know that it is higher than the other shooters I used to play. Yeah, we play, but yeah, I mean, I guess I could see it. Let me rephrase it it would be a lot easier. If you're one of those Zim 4 Xbox One controller emulators who says, I, I, I come on their console with mouse and keyboard, and um, We're gonna do I this have again. the Amos has too. We're going to do this again. So, <laughs> no, that's, that was to a completely <laughs> different crowd that I think is cheating, but hey. Uh, no, I'd agree with you. It I is. agree that that's cheating. 100% yeah. that's cheating. I don't um, think you can... How 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 bad like how 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 bad was it for you that like how did you do how did you do while um, playing the console? I think the first two games we didn't do real great, but my buddy had never played it before, and you know I was yeah. coming from PC, and then we're playing with a random. Um, but most of the random, this is something that I did notice. Everyone just fucking leaves immediately on the console. Like, we get into a game and get in a fight early, and the dude gets downed and doesn't even get killed and just leaves the game. And that happened in almost every single game we played. Yeah, um, I agree with randoms. <laughs> it blew my mind. Like, we get that every once in a while when we're playing on PC if we have a random, but usually they wait until they're actually dead. Dead, dead, and they need their banner recovered, and then they'll leave if it doesn't look like we're heading that way. So What, what, I, what I always have is, like, when you, when you do play with randoms on Apex, that... I don't know if Wes said that before, but if you have a character you're kind of comfortable with and you are got pick one and you go like, I play Mirage, it's my number one, right? Mm -hmm. So I play Mirage, for example, and as then the third one wanted to have Mirage, but, you know, if somebody else picks mine, I try to like kind of find somebody similar. Yeah. Um, but as soon as you pick their main, they back out. Oh, yeah, I like, was I actually one. just read a little <laughs> bit about that. Some article I was reading where they're looking into maybe doing something to take care of that. They're not sure what, though, but it's on their radar. That shit blows my mind. Who cares, man? Yeah, like, in the end, it's just an ability. It's not like it's just going to be a life-saving thing. One or two abilities, and they're not yeah. even that strong in this game for any of the characters, really. Like You don't get to use them right. that often. They don't do anything that amazing. It's not like... It's not like you're playing League of Legends or something where yeah. the entire character is totally different. At the end of the day, this is just a core shooter, and everybody has one sometimes ability and one almost never ability that they get to use. Quit being a picky yeah. bitch, I guess. The worst thing that happens to me when I don't get the main that I always play is you just get the, the luxury of me throwing shit down that I don't know what I'm doing. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I better throw my rockets and I drop a fucking dust cloud like I just shit my pants. I mean, oh, oh well. You I know. want to bring up something. Um, you were talking about the people on console leaving. 
um, mm-hmm. when they got killed, like before they even saw if their banner got collected or whatever. You know, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that honestly, I think between when it's a big game like this, that's especially as new as it is and has, it's like the masses are playing it. When you're playing on console, I honestly feel like you're playing with a lower, um, like the, the mass audience has like a lower game IQ. Then on PC, that I think that they're Seriously. generally younger. I well, think yeah, they're generally yeah, younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but and, but like you know, the people on PC are more dedicated to yeah. kind of the craft in a way, and so with with console, you're going to get all the pick up and players. I don't think you really yeah. get that with PC because it it's a little bit more difficult to be a dedicated PC gamer, you know. Oh yeah, and oh, and I think that to adapt to. they yeah. they maybe that they just kind of. Um, they have more invested in, in it. Like they know, okay, th- I'm likely to get picked back up. So I'll stick around. Mm-hmm. We're on console. They're just like, I died. Fuck this. Bye. Going to the next mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Cause I'm not. So. I think I read something too. Like that the average, it's a like crazy numbers. I think the average console user, like an Xbox user is like the average year, uh, age was like 14 to 16. While on PC gamers, it was like 20 to 25. It's like the average kind of year, which doesn't sound that much off in a way, but it kind of, if it's an average with the whole installer base, it kind of shows. And that's one thing I agree with, like console, especially the Xbox crowd. Oh my God. First of all, very toxic. And second of all, impatient and yeah, casual. Like they're just like, you know. I don't know. Everybody I can don't get see how you can say that the X- Xbox crowd is toxic. There's so many people that have an Xbox. It just depends on where you're at and what you're playing. Mm, compared to like he's compared to the way the let me yeah. when I play Battlefield Four, for example. I'm the, saying the, you can't the, just say that of, because people are on Xbox. There's an X percent of of people that yes, are going to be can, toxic. Actually. No, yes, I can. The 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 installer base is. Uh, Ins- based on the hey let, just let me finish don't interrupt me with that sorry but <laughs> i can't actually say that because if you, i play a game and on pc it's more like a trolling kind of toxic versus you know i'm gonna you know do this i'm gonna ban you i'm gonna you fucking cheater you fucking banner or how blah, much blah, of that blah. has to do with the game and how much of that has to do with the xbox though doesn't matter i had it on bf4 i had it on halo i had it on call of duty i had it on forza i had it on every damn game that i played when i try to play that like the only one four, there that which... surprises me is forza but i don't play forza but everything else that sounds par for the course not horizon like motorsport you get, you, get, you get similar with with <laughs> and PC on PC, games, ps4 is when the I, same I shit on... But, but yeah, but when I played on PC, like COD and um, Battlefield, complete different, complete different thing. Um, and also kind of like to say, I don't know if it means anything, on PlayStation 4, way less aggressive or messaging. I don't know if it's how the messaging is set up that you kind of have to do like an extra button press. But the amount of hate mail I got in my life as a console gamer was on Xbox way higher than on PlayStation. And on the next gen, I didn't have an Xbox One until one or two years in the game. And the only reason I got it was you guys, by the way. So basically you're saying that people are nicer on PC, but fuck that shit. You don't want to play with them because they all cheat. No, no. Yeah, (laughs) pretty much. Pretty much. much. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The, the risk of hacking is higher now, like that. Not saying that it would ruin it for they're, me. They're but being polite, so they don't, you don't find out that they're yeah. hacking is what it yeah. is. That's what it is. Yeah, but hey, you know, at least they're polite about it. <laughs> I have noticed that most of our randos, though, are actually generally pretty cool. Like, there's, yeah. I haven't ran into anyone that's talking shit because you died or talking shit because you did bad in a fight or... You know, every, almost every time we've had a rando, it's either been nothing or a, hey, good game, and then they leave, which... I'm, I'm I digging. I like that. It's. I miss out. I miss that level of community. Oh, in fucking the game, talk of randos. Guess. Fuck that. I I, I think do. the only game that I had a good experience with randos was Elite Dangerous when we all tr- uh, played it, uh, even yeah. on console. I remember was it on console? I got lost so far away in space, and oh then the fewer reds came to save yeah. me. Even on console, they were so organized, so helpful, so friendly. I was like, damn. Like, that's this not is, your like, typical. That's not your typical user, though. Yeah, you know, I know. right, and I, that's why but, I'm saying like it's hard to just 
say oh well this console's got toxic people while pc has nice people you know what pc yeah, also I has like the... child molesters and so does xbox but yeah you, you're not the no, people true. i played overwatch with man there are some toxic a uh, mother oh, of league of legends on, dude league of oh, legends is yeah insane. i played my fair share of league of legends too well again uh, so is it, sorry, is it the platform button, or is it the game <laughs> it's the game okay yeah it's the game i don't think it's so much the platform but i, th- I, th- I think it's the game um but we got we got a bunch of wins i think i've gotten at least one win a day probably a little bit more than that in apex um yeah, yeah i, I started streaming again night. a little bit more i streamed a couple times this week which has been cool i messed with the new uh heart or uh gpu encoding instead of the cpu encoding i meant went and messed with the N, uh, nvec encoder um that thing actually worked really and well from compared. pc and streaming from pc with the gpu encoding um go well, if i'm streaming from from console well if i'm playing a console game not mm-hmm. utilizing my graphics card at all uh-huh. you really think i should you think i should switch i honestly with the, so because i was having the performance issues with apex and using my cpu i switched over to test it out and it was so much better i still had some issues like if it was there's one area in the game that's a burned out forest and it's real smoky in there yeah. could not scope in in that place but as soon as i, I turned your stream on i noticed the difference immediately yeah exactly. everything was smoother i think you if you notice you have any issues with the encoding or anything like that when you're streaming console through it just give it a go see what happens man i think it's i think it's worth checking out it's but you have an nvidia card right yeah 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 i mean it's that's a 970 but I mean, mine's in, mine's a nine seven. Yeah, yours. We had the same card, I think. This motherfucker card. said he had a chicken sandwich. The lies no, are piling that was up. A chicken sandwich. Uh, the oh, duh, chicken sandwich. Yeah, das so boot. Number two. Dos. Remember that mus- Mexican mustache. Yeah, yeah, dos, dos boot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, ah, dos boot. Fucking mustache racism. Just a little bit. He brought it up first. Hey, I did not. Where's you no, I, you did, and then I you did, and it got li- <laughs> more light got on your face, and I was like, "Wow, he is looking kind of Hispanic right now." <laughs> John Leguizamo loves your mustache. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> how can and, how okay, can so what else? So that was the games I played. I watched, obviously, the taking of Deborah Logan, oh, God. which I assume will throw till the end uh i also watched two more movies uh one definitely a horror movie one that was presented to me as a horror movie but i think it's way more a thriller um i watched the ritual which is a netflix original. yes with that big stag thing with the big stag oh, thing you i talked that? about we've talked about this on here before yes fuck i don't very remember beginning like the very it. beginning that movie fuck that movie very was weird. beginning with me or with just you the very guys? beginning of the, oh, you might not have been I might, I might not have been, been on it. Yeah. Was it the one with the witches? Um, we'll, we'll talk about it. Go oh, ahead. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. But so I'll oh, okay, I mean, I guess I'll wait on the ritual. Then I'll do the. No, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. the ritual was pretty good. It was uh, these four dudes who go on a hiking trip in Sweden uh, because the fifth dude came up with it, but then he got murdered in a liquor store, and the one guy. I would call him the main character, didn't help out, and then all of his friends just kind of gave him shit for it. I mean, I don't know where you want to go with that. But the one dude gets hurt, and they decide to go off trail into this fucking woods in the middle of Sweden and come upon this creepy-ass cabin with this weird-ass effigy made out of sticks upstairs, and they all have these crazy-ass dreams, and then they proceed to get hunted by something you don't know what as they're wandering through these woods, and it picks them off one by one by one and then there's two of them left and they make it to this village and there's all these basically cultists there and talk about Blair Witch 3 uh no. like when they were going through the woods was it like this it was not uh, it was not shaky there's cam, something which, chasing us which I appreciate I'm not a fan <laughs> of shaky cam not the documentary style thing doesn't do a whole lot for me generally um but they make it through and um one guy gets sacrificed, and then you finally see this monster that's been chasing them. This god, it's like I a believe. fucking giraffe with horns, it's like a giant moose with I forget the, what it's the called. nose of the moose is basically a torso, and then the arms are held up, but where the hands would be are antlers, 
And then when it opens its mouth, there's a creepy little fucking face in there with hands. Oh, and it pops shit. out and grabs people and then hangs them up on branches in the fucking woods. And these people all all uh fucking worship this thing and the guy burns their little village down oh man and they had this church that was up above that was filled with mummified corpses and like the entire time they're at this place you keep hearing this weird chanting from up above real like almost demonic chanting and the guy walks in there and there's all these you're fucking giving me like oh dude there's all these de just desiccated corpses up there sitting still and the guy's walking through with a torch and as he's walking down this aisle and there's like a preacher dude at the end one of the corpses just <gasps> breathes and then he's like fuck that shit and just lights everything on fire <laughs> burns all these things and walks out and he's running away and he hacks this fucking giant beast in the face with an axe and runs out of the woods and then the thing can't chase him out of the woods end of the movie this is the thing so, Look, yeah. at the, look at the hands coming out of its mouth. Uh-huh. Look Fucking at that thing, TJ. Weird. What do you think of that? Mm. It was... And you don't get to see it until, like, the very, very end. Yeah, you see, like... Very you end. see horns or something like that. You have no fucking idea what you're doing. I've seen a documentary it's a Norse, of a guy It's on, a Norse like, god, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what it, which one it is. He said those but... are cocks. <laughs> That's supposed to say that word. How do you get away with that? That's supposed to time you out. <laughs> He's a mod, man. Mods can do whatever. Yeah. We can do whatever. Jesus. We got the sword. Yeah. The oh, pork man. sword. I, I seen a documentary of a dude standing out against a moose out on this island, like a, a little jetty that went out into the water. Mm -hmm. And this moose came out of the water up on it. He was like, now you want to stay calm around this thing? And he just started doing this. <laughs> And I'm like, why does this moose not eat him? So I could just see like somebody doing that. Like, okay, I saw a documentary. Maybe this will save my life. Uh huh. Oh man, <laughs> making moose signs and <laughs> oh. Uh, Hercules -y brings up a good point that it really does look like Pascal's living in a haunted house. <laughs> the dude him looks like that from he's from the, the ice, ice age. age. <laughs> God damn. They like collect antique stuff. That's how you get some or it could be shit. the ghost I of your mom's family, so just you buy that watch what piano. you say. It's haunted with some demon that invades your house. You get all depressed and angry, and then you try to kill somebody, and then you call some weird psychic dude in. Story so what do you think of the ritual the overall? Uh, the ritual overall, uh, I thought that was, it was actually, I enjoyed it. I, so, I'm a wuss. I do not <laughs> do well with scary movies. <laughs> Uh, so it definitely did its job of terrifying me and it had me on the edge of my seat for quite, and that's what I really liked about this one is it was, you didn't see it. There weren't jump scares. It did was you feel like going absence. camping when you were done. No, because I, I mean, decided I, I would probably camping, never go camping again in my life after I saw yeah, that movie. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe at a campground with other people, but like solo camping. Yeah. You're like, fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> adding that to the list of things can fuck right, right off <laughs> i mean update that list Camp in a solo. um but i like so just the the absence of having anything in there really added to the uh suspense of it and that's what really got me i give it uh i give it a six six and a half six 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 Six. Yeah. Six. I didn't think it was stellar anyway, but I think it did its job very well, and I would recommend that movie for everyone to check out for yep. sure. And then, uh, last night, not last night, the night before, we watched Apostle, another Netflix original. Uh, it's set in 1905, and this guy. Hmm. I'm gonna backtrack. This guy now, this guy's sister gets kidnapped by a cult, and they send a ransom letter to his dad to hey, come here with the money to get your daughter back. She's missing you, and blah blah blah. And you better come get her. Like, it's kind of threatening, but not threatening, you know what I mean? Veiled. Um, so they get in contact with her brother, and he goes to this island where this cult was built around this goddess that supposedly saved these three criminals who were either condemned, I didn't quite catch it, either condemned to death or just exiled from England, one of the two. 
and he shows up there and i mean it's 1905 so they're into some weird kind of sort of 19th century early 20th century tortury kind of shit going on there anything you could expect from a church um Take that shit back right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a wolf in your house. Maka? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go figure out what that was. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fucking call Sam and Dean. Oh my god. The haunting. <laughs> The haunting of Zach's house. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. It's now a Zach house. He said pretty much anything else you could expect from a church, and then just the <laughs> hounds of hell started talking to him. It's the oh, hounds. Boy. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Zach be gone. What if he doesn't come back? What if there's like a head flying around the room now? <laughs> he should have. He should have took the camera with him. Yeah. <laughs> We need a GoPro for events like this. <laughs> yeah, take this shit mobile. <laughs> I'm curious what happens. Oh, I hear... No, he's got it. Insert, insert uh, creepy music here. <laughs> Dramatic. I feel... I hear other shit going on, but he's muted. Somebody else has weird shit going on in the background. Probably me. Okay. Hello, sir. Well... No fucking clue what that was. I walk into the other room. The dog's just laying it there staring at me like, the fuck do you make that noise for? So I'm staring back at her for the time. <laughs> uh, Dude, what's moving uh, behind you there? Upside down. There's something right. behind you. <laughs> just do this. It's the thing with the hands coming out of his mouth. <laughs> It'll mesmerize it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm all, I'm all sweaty now. Like That was creepy, uh, dude. Yeah. Right, I we need to cut that out. I was to play that for somebody. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It was like the perfect timing for sure. Right. So <laughs> we we take that about anyway. Take that back about churches. Um, yeah, I take that back about churches. It's the second time I've had some weird shit like that happen in my life. Um, maybe I should go to church. So I would uh, stop talking shit about him, man. Damn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. But it makes it here. He has to blend in with the society to find out where they're holding his his sister. Um, it just has a lot of human horror in it, I guess. Like the fucked up shit that people will do to each other when they're under the influence <laughs> of cult leaders and stuff like that. Uh, and after a little bit, you get um, a little bit of supernatural stuff that starts happening. Uh All these people, they get these vessels that they call them, but they're actually just jars. And every night they come by and they open a vein and pour their, spill their blood into these vessels and put them outside their doors. And then they come by and collect them. And you have no clue what's going on for this. Like, you don't see it at all. The dude was out exploring, doing what he shouldn't have been doing, pricks his finger, right? And blood falls on the floorboards. And he shuts the door and then it the blood rolls off and goes like moves on its own and goes underneath the floorboards and then this fucking freaky ass face pops up and just blah, 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 licks up the blood. <laughs> Scary as shit. <laughs> <laughs> um But uh it was it was a pretty good movie. Um I think I liked it a little bit better because I think it was better more well done than uh the ritual. Um, it was a little heavy-handed in its message. It ended up having a very mankind's bad and rapes nature feel to it at the end that wasn't particularly veiled or, or anything. It was right there in your face. Um, I'd give it a I'd give it a six and a half. Well, I would give the ritual a solid six. This is a six and a half. It wasn't amazingly better, but it was a little bit better. Um, Sounds like a mother. I haven't watched Mother Mother. With J-Law. But you said that everybody should watch same the ritual, premise. so you think the same about this. Yeah, as well. I think this one this one's the same. Um it's a little bit slower paced, I think. Um, Still working on my I'm working on my bell curve because six doesn't sound like something I want to watch. It's all the only reason I'm asking. Six is above average. I know. Six is above average. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I think they're both Yeah. Uh that's the uh not the Apostle. Apparently that was some like nineteen eighties movie with uh, uh I don't remember who. Um but Apostle. Check that shit out. If it's like two hours long, and honestly, I'll say it almost seemed like it wasn't long enough. Uh, some of the fit in more. 
they could fit in more. Some of the parts seemed a little rushed. Like, they didn't fully flesh out some of it. Um, but there was some fucked up shit in there, man. Like, uh, I saw some stuff. There was one point where McKenna was like, I don't want to watch this. Because it was about to get real gory, and it fucking did. <laughs> Drilling out brains and shit. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yummy. Mm-hmm. What? Why are you standing over? I don't know. I mean, that <laughs> shit. Happened. Have you seen this movie, Swain? Because that shit happened. <laughs> huh. They did that uh, in the movie. No, Kooky, we did not get an explanation of that weird noise. We are all one hundred percent pretending, pretending like it didn't happen. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel you, got him, you got him fucked up again. Turn yeah. all the lights on. All right, <laughs> like I'm not sleeping tonight. I can. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> yeah, all right. I think that's it, though. I don't think I have anything else. I think I'm gonna take an earbud out when it's uh, TJ's turn and keep an ear open for any sort of dangers that might be lurking around. <laughs> a werewolf Strange outside stranger. your window. Pretend like I'm going to look out that window. That could fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I liked it, too. It, it was like that fucking window was 120 degrees. He was like, right. oh, uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no one clipped the noise? That would have been nice. Whew. We'll find it. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm going to pass this on over to Wes. Wes, you can take the horn. I don't have anything else to talk about, actually. My turn. Yeah. Your All turn. Right. Well, um, I played a couple games. I played. I went back and played. I, did you know that they have Grand Theft Auto Vice City on the PlayStation Four? No. Who knew? Now right? I do. Yeah, it's fifteen bucks. I picked it up uh, a couple weeks ago and tried to play it. I remember loving that game, and I also remember that game being frustrating to play because some of the controls kind of sucked. Well, they didn't fix any of that shit. The controls still suck. Maybe worse than before. And not only that, um, it just looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. The the motion blur is so horrible. You can't... It, it, frame rate's bad. It's just bad all around. I really thought they would have tried to at least make it run nice on a console that could run it with its eyes closed, obviously, you know? I think that what it is is just like a port. From it's a the horrible port. Yeah, it's it is. It port. is the mobile port. You're right. Yeah, and it's not. It's not that great. Um, so I went and decided to play a little bit of it on PC, which has a whole different set of problems control wise. But frame rate's wonderful. There's no motion blur. You can turn that shit completely off. Looks great. Feels great. It's much more fun on PC. So if you have an opportunity, don't get it on the PlayStation. Get it on PC. Um. I would look great in a cowboy hat. Okay. <laughs> I also played um, some NCAA football, which we don't really need to talk about that. I've talked about that a million times. Played some WWE 2K15, old old style, going back through um, some of the 2K showcases. Done that a couple times on stream. It was pretty fun. I like it. Nostalgia. I'm going to go through several of them then delete games as I go and until I get current um what else we got Grand Theft Auto 5 um on PC we did uh the LC LS PDFR mod which is Los Santos Police Department first responder um I, I really 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 like that mod when you add that mod, it's not, it's not just you add the mod and you're good to go. You got to add this thing to make it read the mod. You got to add this hook plug-in thing, this script hook things, this ASI reader, all these things. And then you got to add the plugins for the mod. So you get the mod, then you get LSPDFR plus, then you get like a light mod or a car <laughs> mod or 15 different car mods or something that makes arrests go smoother or gives you more options or a computer a police computer for your car there's so many add-ons that it gets so freaking confusing and i got it i got it all the way i wanted it for the most part and i decided to add more cars because i wasn't happy with the cars that i had and i fixed it so that it crashes every time i load it now so i had to reinstall it and so I reinstalled it yesterday and got it working 
about the way I wanted to again. And then I was like, well, I'll just get a different car packet. And I fucked it up again and had to reinstall it again. So right now, I don't know if it works or not. And I'm not really trying to play it because it's pissed me off. And I've spent a lot of time. <coughs> excuse me. I've spent more time uh, loading and, and installing and reinstalling than I have played it, playing it now. So kind of irritated with it and don't want to play it anymore. So. Um, LSPDFR is a great mod, even though it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suck at modding shit, man. Um, watch stuff, though, is is the thing that I want to talk about. Um, I watched all ten episodes of Castle Rock. I know you three have seen it. Mm-hmm. Um, Nugget, you gave that a really, really high rating. Like, I can't remember what it was, but it was like a... I think it was a nine. Yeah. I can't remember though. I, I think it was nine ish. Um, no. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, Zach, what'd you think about that show? You're, you're, um, I thought Castle Walk was really good. I thought that was an amazing show. It was really well done. Um, did you find out that it's actually the origins of it? What confirmed? Mm. What? Yes. Yeah, I forgot about that because I think I thought that's what I mentioned too was some of the things that happened there. I was like, hey, I remember that from it, like some of the places they went. Like what? What do you mean? Like what it is, is the origin thinking? story for the Stephen King character? It. What? Pennywise the clown. Yes, Pennywise the, the clown. Wait, is the thing in the like, woods or is what? it that that one it's not Who the crazy g- demon looking guy is it is the guy that's <gasps> in the cage the guy that's in the cage would is pennywise to, the clown yeah. yes we would get have the to because fuck he, out of here no, listen and it would have to because he plays in the remake the same character plays in the remake pennywise i mean i'm not sure how related that is into it but it is indeed the same character it is yeah. confirmed confirmed as here hold on let me see if i can't find it the same actor the same actor plays the pennywise character really it, that's creepy yeah yeah uh stephen king tv show castle walk will will reveal it the clown <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure, man. Uh, I don't know. McKenna just brought it to me and get, told me there was an article that conf- confirmed it as well. Well, I didn't like... Um... <laughs> There's a cemetery, too, that they go to, and it's in it. There's a lot of stuff in a lot of places um, in, in Stephen King books, though. I mean, I'm not saying that that doesn't have anything to do with it, but... I don't know. I, the way they explained what happened at the end or didn't explain, um, I kind of I did, I didn't like the the jump in time a year ahead, like right there at this pivotal point where something happens, and you don't really know how it ends other than I don't want to spoil it for people, but I don't know. It, it, it's like it resolved itself off screen, and now you know that there's somebody else that's. Well, wait a minute. This cannot be Pennywise the Clown. There is no way. The same actor, is it? Yeah. I don't care it if up. it's the fucking same actor. I'm saying it's not. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of would make sense though. Like if it's the origin story, because it's the same actor, kind of, it's easy then to put it in the narrative. But that the thing is, is what about? I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know where you. What about the to, whole? But... Because they had this whole thing where there was like a cross-dimensional portal, and yeah, Henry Deaver from one life was not the same person as Henry Deaver in another life, and he ended up in a dimension that he shouldn't be in, but he's locked in a cage, never to see the light of day. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's the way it ends too. Uh, I just don't see how. Let's see. Are we crazy, or did Castle Rock just set up a mind-blowing reveal? Huh. Who is? I just don't know. I'm gonna have to look into this because. <laughs> uh, 
it's... here's why it could work. Henry Deaver disappeared in 1991. If Castle Rock is set in the present, then it's been 27 years since those events. In It, the titular creature, who takes many frightening forms, blah, 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 lays dormant for 27 years before reemerging to wreak havoc on the people of Derry, Maine. Uh, in the book, Derry falls victim to a malevolent force, but in Castle Rock is merely transporting the story from one main location to another. Remember that Pennywise, like the kid, can also infect people with disease and use mind control. Uh, however, I don't know if this is a. However, is Doubtful Scars going to play the same role in two different mediums? Is this close together? Um, well, he says it wasn't. But. But could it be that? Could it be that? when the alternative uh, dimension thingy, what Wes just mentioned, what if the guy in Castle Rock is, is like, um, you know, the not Pennywise person. Like, he is Pennywise, but not in that universe right now. Like, it's a different guy. Yeah. I don't know. It's, I mean, that could be it. Like, you know how, like, parallel universes exist, and then you are different than, you know, you parallel you or some bullshit like that so if that exists so that could be the same thing like he's like not Pennywise but he's still kind of the same guy but he's not that evil or something I don't know it's kind of because the whole show was confusing anyways in a way sometimes. yeah well like at the very end when he goes to the cemetery yeah. and it says that there's like basically the Deaver, Deaver boy stillborn like born, born to heaven or whatever mm -hmm. um, and I'm reading here talking about the, the different timelines and everything. He's an Alzheimer's researcher who's trying to find or start a family until Scott Glenn's Alan, uh, who in this timeline is absconded with Sissy SpaceX Ruth, leaving town and taking Henry with him when he was a child, calls to tell Henry that his father has died. In this timeline, Henry's dad is the paranoid warden Lacey of it all, while the kid Henry finds himself to be, if his lingering around the grave in the final finale is any indication, a surviving version of the stillborn child our Henry referenced earlier in the season. I just don't. I'll see if I can't find a better article this week. I th I I think it's I think it is I think it's what they said it was. It's a timeline type thing, like a uh, like a different dimensions different world like an alternate reality or whatever where like yeah in another reality there's all of us and we do all different things than we do here and somehow he got crossed yeah. over that's um, what i was with down with originally yeah it's weird though the the whole it thing i i mean where there's smoke there's got to be some kind of fire so we'll see <clears throat> but i didn't like i i liked and i didn't like the way they ended it um I is guess it completely I'm, gone? Is it completely gone? Like, is it also going to be a second season? Or that was it? I don't think there'll be another one. Um, I okay. mean, there could be a second uh, I season. I think they were but... said. I thought back then, back when it aired, I remember reading something that they're setting it up for a second season, but it's not going to be the same story. Right. Think of it as other stories oh. set in because right there at so the kind end, like American Horror the Story, the reporter or chick was talking about uh, going to basically the uh, hotel from um, The Shining. Yeah. She's talking about going on a retreat. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. I didn't even... You're talking about the... Which one? The the younger girl. The girl who's who, writing a book or whatever? Yeah, who was okay. writing a book. Talked about going on a retreat in the mountains in Colorado or whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is hinting at The Shining. Right, I right. I really watched that. Yeah. Haunted Hotel. Awesome. Hell yeah. Um, kind of cute, too. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I I liked it. I didn't like. I I hate it. I hate it. This this is actually going to be a good segue. I hate it when a show leaves it to you to kind of determine what you think happened. Like I don't know yeah. how the guy ended up back where he ended up at the end of the show. I know that they were out in the woods together. They could have done the dimension thing. Instead, there was a fight, and then it goes like before you even see the fight, you just know that Henry has the upper hand, and then it cuts to a year later, and how things have changed. And where we are now with it, but it doesn't really tell you how you got there or what happened to to make that happen. You yeah. see something really creepy for like half a second that you're like, "Whoa, this guy is not of human nature," you know? Do you guys remember that? Mm -hmm. um, but they don't really tell you what happened, and that really bothers me. However, when we talk about the next movie, we're going to talk about 
which was the one that we all watched that uh, the taking of Deborah what is it what's her last name Logan Logan the taking of Deborah Logan I feel like me always bitching about wanting to know how we got where we are and everything and not leaving stuff to interpretation they did that and I think it ruined the movie they they told you exactly how this is all possible <laughs> and I feel bitch. like doing that shit ruined the movie because I didn't I didn't like the explanation so yeah but I see your point too with the open ending why you hate it too it's because you it's kind of like you have a book and you you know it's it builds up to this one moment and then it's just like the end. And they skipped like, the chapter, and, and they told you that you saw the credits, and but you don't know yeah. how you got there. Yeah, that's kind of. Like, I make okay, my own ending in that type of show. I hate yeah, that. And that's yeah. fine, but it's it it kind of feels like a cop out to me too. It's just like I wanted to have a nice like what I like is plot twist in the end. It's like you're just like oh man, that's why, and then you rewatch the, the last movie. three the last three episodes of that fucking movie or show was a plot twist. Yeah, they yeah totally. True. But if you do it at the ending, it makes it fun to watch it again because then you see all the details where you're just like, you know this character and then he's actually or she's actually evil, like not related to Castle Rock, but just like in general. And then you watch it again and you're like, oh shit, yeah, he is really fucked up. Now it is even more fucked up because what you know from watching it already the first time. I think that those are fun too, but so I can see where you come from. What I but found yeah, interesting too is that the the Deborah Logan movie was about Alzheimer's and uh, Sissy Spacek's character in Castle Ruth. Rock had Alzheimer's and in, in Castle Rock it's almost like as as debilitating as that was it was like unlocking her mind because she was traveling through these like she had done this shit over and over and over it's almost like a Groundhog Day type thing with her mm-hmm. and she knew all the different scenarios of every choice that she made and and like she's telling that lady, you know, we're on this bridge, and you no, know, you say that every time. And then she said something different. She's like, "Well, that's the first time you've said that," you know. Yeah. And it's just, it's kind of that is more alternate dimensiony stuff than I just can't, I, I can't, I can't see where it would play into that. I don't know. I want to see that. It's also where they say that a lot of people get possessed or anything like that because the where the mind is weak and fragile, it makes it easier for it to happen. Yeah. So I think that's like I think dementia and Alzheimer's is a good opening for any kind of movie where you're gonna try to play some kind of possession Mystery or, or whatever you wanna twisted yeah. thing. Tell you, I tell you, that's, yeah, that's you're a good in their point. mind. They're, you're in their mind. You don't know what. There's they no see limits. They... Yeah, there's no yeah, limits yeah. to what could. Ha- yeah, I can see that. Um, I tell you what, the um, I don't know. I I would. I'm gonna give the show a seven. Okay. Um, I the ending kind of I don't know, but I would definitely say that everybody should watch this show. Castle Rock yeah. was was good from start to finish. I totally didn't see it going the way it went. I had episode seven, I think it was episode seven or eight. Everything completely changed, and I was just like, "What the fuck is going mm-hmm. on?" And half the time, you know, they're talking about that kid being the devil. Honestly. The shitstorm was kind of following Henry Deaver around to the the black lawyer guy. So it's almost like, which one of these is actually the evil one? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you kind of try to figure out, yeah. But I, I yeah, think I that was I think that yeah. was proven later on, though, so no but matter. I, th- I think it's a fair score, Sam. Yeah. 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 All right, so yeah. that's all I, I got. Either, so, but I, I would believe a seven. Yeah. So That's now, give it to you, like, on to the, the movie watcher of the hour, yeah. Mr. Nugget. Always with yeah. his 50 movies. Yeehaw. You know all the well, movies. I'll run through a few of them pretty quick because I wasn't impressed with them and I'm not going to bore everybody <laughs> with it. So um, we did watch a lot of movies this week. Uh, what else did I do? I think two weeks ago, just at, you know, just catching up. But I don't know if I told you guys that for a late present, I don't know if it was Father's Day or what, I got an ancestry DNA kit. Ooh. Ooh. So you're I never gonna be able to get away with murder now. I know. <laughs> I, I spit in a tube against my better judgment of being able to kill people later in life. Your 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 freaking your offspring now hate you because that one murderer <laughs> that is related to you down the line somewhere is gonna get caught yeah. because of your ass. Right. And that's <laughs> all the government. It's all the government I'm, I'm just excited. trying to get everybody's DNA on record. Because <laughs> if one of those little shithead spawns for me. 
get a, if they murder somebody, they deserve to be caught. Um, so that's cool. I'm waiting. It's uh, I pulled it up just to see where it was tonight, and it has been received. It has been processed, and now my DNA is being extracted. So like a dinosaur. Yeah. So there might be some more me running around. They might like clone me later on in life. They clone you. Yeah. Yeah. So Two excited nights. about that. Um. What, and so other than that, uh, I just wanted to touch base on all the people who walked away from UK basketball because they lost like three games and all of a sudden we're the worst team in, in the world. Oh shit, right. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I heard the other night that we got the number one seed. So we had a, like, I think, it, but it was like a match. That's never going to be, yeah, it's not going to be decided for sure until it happens. Right. But. but it was like a magical concoction of things that happened. Like we lost at Tennessee, but then we won at Ole Miss. And then Tennessee lost one of their games. So it was like we kept going, like, who's going to be one? Who's going to be two? Who's going to be one? So it was pretty neat to see that. So hopefully we get that number one seed. And then all those people that didn't like UK anymore can go suck a dick. God. Success <laughs> fans. Yeah, I can't stand them. Did you, did you all hear a loud? La- did you all hear a loud bang? No. Dude, man, what's going on, guys? I don't care. <laughs> so, moving on. The Haunted oh. Podcast. See, yes. and I, with all the creepy shit here. Jesus Christ, here. and your cat was up at the top of your screen moving. I didn't know it was there. It scared <laughs> yeah, the yeah, shit out cool. of me. <laughs> so, um, so into the movies, because I played Apex. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. It's almost like uh, PUBG all over again. Apex is wonderful. Nothing's really changed. I know we talked about hitboxes last week. I don't think they fixed any of that yet. Um, but movie wise, um, I'll save the old bitch for later. Uh, we watched a Netflix original called how it ends and it's got, uh, uh, guy with an eye, uh, Forrest Whitaker. Is it? And <laughs> hold on. Is it, is it the movie like 2012 kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, I watched like it too. Something, yeah, something's yeah. going on uh, on the East Coast, and it's spreading. Mm-hmm. And so they go on an adventure to go rescue. Uh, I can't remember who the main guy is, and I can't think of his name off the top of my head, so apologize for that. Uh, but anyways, he's going to res- rescue his girlfriend, who is Forrest Whitaker's daughter. He's a some branch of the military. And so he takes him on this adventure. The boyfriend has no kind of experience, so he gets all. Sorry, I was catching up on chat. So he gets all um, just into it, traveling across the world. They hit a twig. It, it like almost kills Forrest Whitaker somehow. A twig? Uh, yeah, I wasn't impressed, man. They they went off road, and I'm pretty sure they hit a twig at about 27 miles per hour, and it like broke a rib, punctured his lung, and, oh, it was horrible. I, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Um, I gave it a, I gave it a four. I was able to finish it just because I wanted to know what was going on on the, on the West Coast that was going Dude, to shit. I literally watched it for, like, 30 minutes, and I skipped to the end just to know what's going on. <laughs> That's what right. I did with that movie. Yeah, I'm I trying to stop you. doing that, so, uh, I mean, obviously, I think it was a little better than The Rock in all his glory. But I gave it a four. Uh, the next movie we watched was the new Robin Hood, the 2018 Robin Hood, not the Gerard Butler or Kevin Costner Robin oh, Hood. Fuck, 2018? They came out with a Robin I'm, Hood movie last year? Yeah. 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 I, mean, I remember seeing that. It's got uh, Jamie Foxx in it. <laughs> um, Does he play Samuel he- L. Jackson? Or is he Robin Hood? Samuel L. Jackson. No, oh no, Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> um, I'm not for sure in the storyline that they went with. I don't think he is, but he plays that role. Let's say that. But it's sort of it's sort of role reversal that what they did. So he's not Robin Hood. Um, but they had horrible CGI. <laughs> like they had like a couple times where there was like some horse, you know, like ho- a horse running. They were trying to escape from something and literally had this horse jump over like a broken bridge and they CGI'd it. 
Like you couldn't take 15 minutes out and have a horse jump over a fucking bridge and make it look realer than just this horse going <laughs> CGI moving underneath of it. Like it was, was it, was it so a bad. movie theater movie or was it like a DVD Blu-ray was, release? No, I think it was movie theater movie. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Though. Okay. So it had a really dark storyline. So like the Kevin Costner one was he went off to fight everything a, I do a war. And then the sheriff of Nottingham wanted to take the land in the castle. So yeah. they proclaimed his dad was a witch, maybe, or a devil worshiper, I think, and took it from him. Well, this one, the sheriff of Nottingham, is actually sending people to war for them to die. So then he can take their land because they're not coming back for it. Mm. So really, really, really dark storyline. I like where they were going with it. I like some of the role reversals that they did with the characters. It wasn't the same role like you knew what, what this person's job was in the movie. So that was pretty interesting. But the CGI just killed it. I gave it a five nugs. One of the worst ones. I think it's third you Gerard are the Butler's worst second. Robin Hood movie I have ever seen. Yeah. Kevin Costner, obviously. I would do anything for him. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I uh, like the other one with uh, was Gerard Gerard. Butler. Was it Gerard no, Butler? Was it? I don't think it was. I thought it was. Oh, it was Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Oh, my bad. Ah, they're the same. <laughs> Pretty darn close. <laughs> No. That, the one with Russell Crowe is really just uh, the gladiator Robin Hood. Right. Um, had all them horses running in the on the beach, man. The scene was so cool. Yeah. True. Yeah, true. So what else did we watch? Uh, I think I talked with Zach. I watched uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Great movie. Uh, I absolutely loved it because I'll tell you why. And I think I've talked to Wes about this. I am not one... I love music. I follow music. I love to listen to any kind and every kind of music, but I honestly half the time couldn't tell you who sings the song or anything about them. That's my biggest problem. I couldn't even tell you the song name unless I'm like, you know, I've picked it up and I've seen it and looked about and read about it. Right there with it, man. To to realize to watch this movie one, I had no clue that Freddie Mercury was uh, uh, they kept calling him a Packy. I don't know where he was from, so don't you know? Don't Pakistan. hate on me. So I'm assuming Pakistan, but I don't know if that's real, that's true or not. Hey, but from somewhere over there, and I had no clue, and I had no clue that he had a deformity, some kind of deformity on his mouth, and that's why he could sing all those yeah, notes he, and sing better. He, what had an extra set of incisors or something like that, yeah. and that made his mouth be able to open wider. Yeah. So, like, I'm just learning all this stuff, and it's, like, fucking just just mind-blowing to watch. And then to see them create the songs, to see the brilliance of him. Born in Zanzibar. You... Zanzibar, okay. So, no clue. No fucking clue. Like, his real name. You should check out his real name. I wouldn't even try to butcher it. Baruch? Balsara? What the fuck? Yeah, so uh, I'm just blown away at this, but then I'm seeing all these, like, uh, oh, I don't want to say, mannerisms. So obviously, going into this, that I know that he's he's gay, you know, after the movie's been out for a while since I've seen it. So to watch these mannerisms that he does in this movie, and I'm like, holy hell, how does the dude not know that he's gay? Because he gets married to a female. And then, you know, he starts to realize, I guess, that he is gay and he follows those passions. And obviously that led to HIV and AIDS and everything. But I was like, man, he's portraying like a classic gay dude. Like they're really like trying to push that he is gay. And then I started looking up some videos of Freddie Mercury and I was like, this had to be hard for the rest of his band members to watch because he hit the nail on the head with this acting. I was just blown away. But learning all the things, and I was like, then it got my mind going about some, like, Bohemian Rhapsody, the song. I'm like, is this like, is this a metaphor in some ways of 
HIV and AIDS. If you start oh, yeah, listening 100%. to the, if you listen to the lyrics, like I, and I haven't looked up anything, so I don't know if that is like a true thing or not. But when you listen to the lyrics, like I put, you know, I put a gun to his head, pulled the trigger. Now he's dead. And then he talks about later how he wakes up and he feels all the aches and the sickness inside of him. Like, was that him saying that he also spread HIV yeah. and AIDS? Just killed the man. Yeah. So I was just blown away by it. I, mean, I guess it would depend on when it was written versus when he found out, too. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody was, like, one of the last songs he wrote, wasn't it? Like, his performance of Bohemian Rhapsody was, like, one of the last things he actually finally performed before he couldn't anymore, I thought. Hmm. Is that, did they portray that in the movie? Um, I, th I think it was. I think it was the last, yeah, because they went out to, like, apparently this farm out in the middle of nowhere and recorded it. But just watching how they made, just watching how they made the songs and like the genius music, and it wasn't just him; it was all of them. They were all so fucking talented. But also to look at how the stars can align and bring something together, like this band that's just the, a fucking great ass band. Because the night that he joined, you know, as a singer to the band was the night they lost their lead singer at a nightclub. Like, he followed that band around, and they lost their singer, and he picked her up. And just imagine, like, Queen might have not have been a thing. Right, if, if he hadn't happen. even... Yeah, that's crazy. So, um, now that I've, like, just slobbered all over myself about it, I gave Bohemian Rhapsody a 9. Woo! Nice. Yeah. I need to watch it now. Yeah, it's. I'm getting. I got cold chills just talking about it. See, man, it was good. That is like one of the movie I I I wouldn't want to watch just because it's totally out of my genre, like the music kind of like documentary style reenacting. But based on what you said and the history of Queen, because I like Queen, um, yeah, definitely gonna watch it now. Yeah, definitely I check it out, man. Some of the things that they did, like, uh. Like some of the music, like one time he just threw a bunch of like coins on the drums and made him play the drums with the coins on it. So it made like a different sound. Yeah. And like, yeah, you guys just got to check it out, man. The music was good. Obviously, it's you're getting a queen soundtrack. But when you start to figure out how they did it and the genius that went behind it, you I have a lot more respect now. Nice. So it was good. Um I watched some more Supernatural. Nothing's. It's still. It's still going. It's still on my little, my little list of I'm what still season? interested in it. Uh, I think I just got into five. Nice. I might be right. I think right before five or right into five. Um, I haven't watched it in a few days, so I don't remember where I was. But I think it was right on five. I started. Was it Umbrella Academy? I think was the name of it. I started that. I'm two episodes in. It got a little slow for me. It was put me to sleep. I'm not going to say it was bad. It was just bad timing on when I decided to watch it. And yeah, for it to be it. slow, if it picks up, then we'll find out. So my answer for Umbrella Academy is going to be need more input, Stephanie. <laughs> what? So, did you watching it late at night or something? Yeah, I, I, I watched it pretty late. Like, I'm pretty sure yeah. I started like <laughs> after one of your streams. So. Just yeah. fucking start it like. I don't know. Blitzkill's gone, but he he watched it. He seemed to love it. Um, I liked it a lot. Maybe if you're going to try to watch it again, watch the first episode again when you're not tired. Because if you like the first episode, you'll like the rest of them. What if you a lot don't of people like say the first episode? Will it you, come back? I don't think so. Um, I mean, it is what it is. It's not... People people watching it thinking because it's about superheroes that there's going to be action. There's just to, there's yeah. not. It's not. It's and a, I'm okay. It's like a Quentin Tarantino because... movie. That's that's to me is the way that it's it's dialogue, <laughs> it's talking, it's exposition, and it's good it music. It reminds me of uh, Watchmen. Kind of fancy editing. It it should because I think. Uh, the, Thank you. That's the exact vibe. The I same got from people you. had a hand in it. So. Oh well, okay, that makes sense. Nice. So I mean, I'm going to finish it. It's not horrible. So. It's I just I think it was bad timing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as far as it being slow, I mean, that's it's to me, it doesn't. It's not a fast paced type thing. It's it's kind of like one of those that you uh, you roll a tight one and you enjoy it while you're smoking it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm I'm gonna check it out. I'll finish it out. I mean, it won't hurt, right? It can't be any worse than the rock. I finished that. <laughs> I, 
question with The Rock. Could it be that your hype of Dwayne Johnson not being the man you want kind of ruined the movie? So if you would, from a critical point, minus your bias towards Dwayne Johnson, the movie could have... It was the other actors. Oh, it was the other actors ruined it too. Man. I felt like I felt always like be the worst movie. The, I think we've <laughs> talked about this before, but I I felt like they read the script and was like, "Man, we're probably just in this for the cash grab that you know, nineteen eighties babies are going to want to watch this movie because it's Rampage." Yeah, I was interested in it, but then you kind of set the rating yeah. like, "Yeah." <laughs> so, hey, um, yeah, The Rock was on my stream last night whooping Rudy Poo Candy's asses. So nice, hey. Sure he can. Walking Tall is a great movie. Five star. I will never deny that. Um, what else did I watch? Oh, I was pleasantly surprised. Pascal has already watched it, and that's sort of why I wanted to watch it. But I watched Creed 2, which led to me watching Creed, because I wanted to see <laughs> where my scores differed. Um, which I don't one did you watch first? I, gave... I watched Creed first like okay. a long time ago. I think it was before the podcast, so I probably don't have a score for it, I don't think. Um, so I ended up watching it again because I wanted to see if there was any going to be any differences. I felt like Creed two blew Creed out of the water. Yeah, I feel like it was like a a rookie movie. Yeah, Yeah. see, I I want to watch it and I haven't yet, so let's stay spoiler free for at least my sake. But okay, oh yeah, um, you know, but I I felt like the first Creed. To me, and I'm not saying that makes makes it a great great movie. I thought it was it was better than I expected. It shattered my expectations. I was expecting right. total cash grab. This is going to be a shitty movie. I can't believe they're doing this to the Rocky, you know, legacy. And when I watched it, I was like, "Holy shit, this is a really good movie." You know? Yeah. And when I say it blew it out of the water, I'm I'm not meaning like my scores aren't very different from one to the other. But when I say it blew it out of the water, it sucked me in. It immersed me. To the points to where sometimes I was, um, like the hitting, like the, sometimes they would just smack their gloves together. You know how boxers do when they're coming out to the ring. And I felt like my goddamn eardrums were going to bust. Like it felt like they had speakers in the gloves. And when they hit somebody, sometimes I like flinched because I was like, I felt that punch. And then I love their music in Creed 2, which I'm pretty sure they did it in Creed 1, but they obviously they play the Rocky theme song. But they just switch it up. Sometimes it's violins playing it. Sometimes it's played slow. Sometimes it's played fast. So it was awesome to yeah. hear it and catch it in the background every once in a while. Like, oh shit, there goes the Rocky theme. Um, but how the how everything ends up being challenged. Uh, like, I don't want to spoil anything. So you get to find out who the challenger is. That's going to be your main protagonist, and it's pretty awesome the way they do it. It seemed oh, yeah. cheesy to me. I don't know. I, I no. haven't seen the way it's done, though, but I know who it is. It just seemed kind of, really? You're going to go that route? No, it's pretty good, though. But do you like, know you know who it you. is, but do you know who it is? Yeah. Like, I, obviously, in the in the previews, you know it's the Russian. But I, do you I, know I, who his daddy is? Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Which is what I thought so, was weird, you know. You, you, yeah. Yeah, I don't no, know. No, it's done well. It's done well. Like, let me it take is. the fear away from you. Like, it's done really well. Like, I when it's like cheesy stuff and like a movie like that, I'm like, oh come on! But it wasn't like that at all. There was one scene in there though that would, I'm not. It's not no spoiling, but there's like a singing part, and I was like, oh come on, man! That was the one thing where I which I didn't like. I think they could have done it differently. So when you, we all what? watched it, we can talk about it. When yeah. they're when they're overseas. Mm, uh, I. Th- I'm not. I don't want to spoil it, but there was okay. one part where where there was uh, someone well, singing. And yeah, there's I'm two like, singing parts, so and, I just wanted to see which one though, because I know the musical. second one. And is there was one singing part, and I would have done it differently just for nostalgia times. Is he still with the girl gotcha. with the uh, the hearing thing? Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, so so in, yeah. all I have. I yeah. don't want to. So yeah, depending on which one, I'll, I want to. I'm going to put a note next to it because I want to make sure we don't skip over that next week because I want to see which scene you're talking about if it's the early scene i'm with you if it's the later scene i don't agree with you i thought it was pretty awesome it's a way to to put some pep in some step um so creed 2 i gave an 8 and creed i gave a 7 awesome so um can I agree with that name too uh and then on to before we get to the creepy bitch 
Uh, the last movie I watched, I got in a day early, a 6 p.m. showing a day prior. How'd you do that? I went and watched, uh, sign up for, uh, not Fandango, I almost lied to you. <laughs> uh, sign up for Regal Rewards. They sent me an email and said, buy tickets now if you want to get in and see this a day early at 6 p.m. Oh, shit. Unfortunately, I waited a few days thinking, I'm not going to watch it. And then I was like, no, I want to go watch it. So I picked it up and we were literally in the front row like this. Oh, so I had a headache by the time it ended. But I enjoyed I enjoyed the yeah, movie. So, so you never told anybody what it was. Oh, yeah. I cut Captain you off. <laughs> Marvel. I went and saw Captain Marvel. So let me prepare you, gentlemen. If you are a misogynist. You might as well stick a fucking tampon in each ear and leave the and leave the podcast. <laughs> so this movie started out already before it even released as a four out of ten on IBDM. Because people went in and were pissed off because again, it had a female lead, and then there was some more strong female influences in the movie. And everybody's pissed off. And then somebody come up with the theory that they're just trying to support women's rights and was this and that. Because she a female in the comics? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they're dumbasses. Yeah. Dumb yeah, yeah. She's also known as uh, I don't remember binary, but she was also called Warbird. Oh. But anyways, I'll I'll get to it. And this and this is why. Actually, I'm just gonna go into it. This is why everybody's pissed off. One is because the actual release date was on national, guess what? Women's Day. Shitting on white men? <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. Uh, who knows? Um, so everybody already went in and started downvoting it, giving it ones before it even released and getting the score way down so... You know, when you go to research it, you're going, oh, this is a crappy movie. This is one of the things that I read and I heard a lot of. She's not funny. She's too much like Iron Man. And yes, we have talked about Marvel movies and how they try to make an Iron Man in every one. But here's my theory. I'm okay with her being a smartass every once in a while. She's funny as well. They put the comedy in there, but it wasn't too strong. It wasn't like the normal Marvel movies when they're trying too hard to be funny every time they turn a corner. Or a corner. So they did. I feel like it was the right amount, and I feel like she played the character very well. And the fact that if you have a problem with a strong woman and you can't handle a smart-ass woman, no different than being a smart-ass dude, she's a fighter pilot. To me, I felt like she was playing uh, Top Gun. Maverick, Iceman. Yeah, what was she, was Maverick not a smartass? Was he not oh, yeah. a jokester? Was he not? Hell yeah, it's a military. They're military. You know, there's different breeds of creatures. Like yep. people gave us so much shit, and and the, and then there's a cat named Goose. So obviously, it's a Maverick <laughs> Goose reference. Nice. Um, if you do go see it, don't be late. I will put that out there. There is a nice little uh. Memorial for Stan Lee, so you don't want to miss it. We were we missed half of it and got in there, and like everybody down the row was like <laughs> sniffling, so it must have been pretty good. I only caught the end of it to go, oh Stan Lee. <laughs> so he did have a cameo in it, and it was pretty good. Um, so I thought about giving Captain Marvel because I can't go into much of it without being like spoiler. So I found the quote that, what is it, two two full ninety one ninety one might be speaking about, um, at her awards ceremony. I'm not entirely sure what it was for. Um, she said, "I don't need a forty year old white dude to tell me what didn't work about a wrinkle in time. It wasn't made for him. I want to know what it meant to women of color, biracial women, and to teen women of color." Basically, she isn't a fan of how the majority of movie critics happen to be middle-aged white men reviewing movies, and it doesn't come from the perspective of a diverse group of people, is whatever thing. And then yeah, somebody can tell her that nobody cares what she thinks. 
Yeah. <laughs> Larson elaborated on this point, saying it wasn't about excluding white men, but including those who have historically been marginalized. Am I saying I hate white dudes? No, I'm not. What I'm saying is if you make a movie that is a love letter to women of color, there is an insanely low chance a woman of color will have the chance to see your movie and review your movie. Hey, I reviewed A Wrinkle of Time, and I think I gave it a higher score than anybody. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. That's just... Yeah. That's where she's coming from. She's opening herself up to doing more things with critics from a wider uh, array of people. Hmm. Touch your mouth and act, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like... (laughs) No, not true, though. Like, in a way, like, just take the politics away and just make a movie. I like That's I get it with everything. I can see her point, her point but though. she's not. Yeah. She's not working. She shouldn't be working with the critics. You know, no. she doesn't like what they have to say. You know, that's fine. But she can't always. And I don't know exactly what she was, you know, referring to. But she can't always determine why they said the things that they say. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, just because I'm a forty year old white guy doesn't mean that my opinion's invalid, right? No, I don't think that's what she's saying. I just think she's saying that the majority of critics are that. So it might speak more to someone who's had different experiences in their life than it would. The fucking Marvel movie. Because, because. (laughs) Well, well, but she wasn't, she wasn't talking about. She was talking about a wrinkle in time. Captain Marvel. She was talking about a wrinkle in time. Gotcha. Hmm. Makes me want to watch that movie. I I still need to watch it. It was fucking garbage. A wrinkle in time. A wrinkle in time was a horrible movie. The Oprah movie, right? Yeah, yeah, that movie Nugget was really loved bad. It. I went, I I went and it. saw it in the theater because I, I was a huge that. fan of the book as a kid. So I, like, it was it was on the movie pass. And McKenna's like, "Oh, let's go see a movie." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I love right. this book as a kid. We should go. We should go watch this movie." And then I'm just like, "Oh, like uh, wow!" I saw the trailer bad. for it, but and I, I think it what I think what no. yeah, no, and I think what raised my score higher than I think what I think Spider would have gave it was I enjoyed the message that it sent. And that's why I gave it yeah. a little bit of a higher score. Like what I'm getting ready to do with Captain Marvel, I lowered my score originally when I left the theater by the time I got home and thought more of it because it's a Marvel movie. If you've seen one Marvel action scene, you've seen them all. So they didn't do anything to break the barrier in this movie. It's a Marvel action movie and you're going to you already know what's going to happen. Um I did love the CGI. The CGI was really good. Um, whether it was being on a different planet, fight scenes, making Samuel L. Jackson look like he was 20 years old. Well done. It look as weird as uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt supposed to look like a young Bruce Willis and Looper. Was it that kind of weird? Yeah. Like, was it freaky? No, it was... Well, I mean, it was <laughs> freaky, but, like, I could see it because you've seen young Samuel L. Jackson in his movies, and they did a phenomenal job. <laughs> And I can't remember who the other agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. is from the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on Netflix. Um, but he's in it, too. I can't think of his name off the top of my head. Never watched that show. <laughs> uh, well, he's whoever the leader of that is, he's in it, and he's actually training under Samuel L. Jackson. So that was pretty neat. They brought him back. It's the guy that died in one of them, I think, at some point. Spoilers. Yeah, I think probably. he died along the way somewhere like 15 movies ago. Yeah, so he yeah, he's back and they CGI him as young, you know, he's just starting out, but it was nice to see stayed for the after credits. There's a funny scene uh before the credits and then the after credits you get a end game uh Avengers end game scene that's related to Captain Marvel, so definitely stay for that. Go ahead, five star with your Deadpool question. So I gave Captain Marvel a 7. Okay. I was going to give it an eight, but since it was a Marvel action movie that I've seen a hundred times, I had to drop it to a seven for that. That's fair enough. Yep. And that's again where seven is not bad. I'm, six is not bad either. <laughs> six, six is bad. No, it's not. It's over the average. Average is yeah. not good. Why is it not good? Like a bad movie is bad. Average is it's average. Because you're just like, cresting okay, below average. It's worth no, it's like it's worth watching. That's what six is. It's worth watching. It's worth your time. If okay. Five star says if Deadpool cut off his dong and then kept <laughs> reattaching it, could the man technically grow his dong around the earth and make it reach him? 
But probably but does, he, does he reattach things? I thought they just grew back. I, I think they just remember. grow back though. I don't think he can like So are you saying so are you saying he basically holds the middle piece together so it just keeps growing longer and longer? <laughs> like <laughs> like he cuts it twice and then holds it at the end. <laughs> he and keeps just... cutting the larger piece. <laughs> probably possible. <laughs> you might want to send it to Marvel. <laughs> Because so I don't know, because right he now. lost his legs and he had baby legs, so would he yeah. just have a baby pee pee? But I mean, it's gonna so it's gonna grow back. So like he cuts off, he cuts off the tip after he already cut off a section of dong, and then he holds it there until it all heals, and then he just keeps doing that over and over again. Is that what you're talking about? Guys are making me want to eat some red beans and rice, but <laughs> <laughs> I love my itsy bitsy teeny tiny. Also, oh, something South something Beach. I can't remember. I didn't I didn't make that commercial by the way. I don't know five star. That's a that's a real thought provoker. Yeah, I don't want to hurt my brain, dude. Why would you do that to me? Theoretical <laughs> physics is not a topic on this show. <laughs> but I have a, a little topic, though, because my, uh, TJ said something with a Metacritic and what made him upset that he didn't even watch the movie and stuff and gave it a bad rating. That is not the, with the only medium, though. Like, shouldn't we all be kind of like more tolerant until we actually play a game to judge it and not just you know follow like uh, like a movement thing and make it too political because in so many games it doesn't matter what game it is it, the game is not even out and people give it a metacritic bad reviews and then another one bad reviews and the game has not even out or there wasn't even a beta and well how about what i ask like you hey don't you want to play this and you go no nah, it's not really my thing before you try it what was that though oh we were talking about something the other day and i I was asking you to play something or try something, watch something. I don't remember. And you was like, nah, it's just not my thing. I don't know anything about it. But it's a, but it's, 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 it? it's, it's, it's a different thing for, for knowing that this genre of thing is not your type of a cup of tea. However, I'm not going out and be like, you know what, Madden, let me go on Metacritic right now. Madden 20, this game is going to suck because... Well, obviously he, nobody he, should be writing reviews on any publication if they haven't That's, seen it yeah so but i i feel like when you are <laughs> interested when you feel like in interested in in a genre like a in a horror movie or i i know what you're talking about you were talking i, th I don't know if it was you i don't know somebody talked me into watching like infinity war and all the movies um but if you if you follow genre and you're a fan of that especially with gaming and you kind of like the game but you read something or somebody told you that this is not in and all of a sudden you follow this movement and give it a bad review. I think that's a bad thing. I think that's not really helping the cause of actually making like this difference between pure hate and being a stupid idiot versus uh, giving valid criticism of this. Captain so, Marvel's new Marvel movie and she's got tits four out of 10. Yeah. And that, that is bullshit. Um, <laughs> I think it, it, it's bad. It's the same, like, I can't say anything bad about Division because the game looks and sounds freaking great. Like, everybody's loving it that I know. It's just not my cup of tea. But, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I try to mean. Like, instead of just going into, like, this whole agenda of following, you know, Angry Joe says Anthem is shit. Well, I don't think it's a good game from what I've seen, but there are people enjoying it. So for them, it might be that great game. You know, so I don't know. Just, just my thoughts. Sorry, kind of went into a rant again. Yeah. I know. I think that's what the podcast is all about, right? It is. <laughs> we rant. So, that was it for Captain Marvel. She runs funny. I'll tell you that. And she has big feet. <laughs> so when you guys are watching, you're gonna be pissed off at me now when you look at her feet every time she runs. Yeah, that's like, what I'm gonna be looking at. This big yeah. one. run like a hobbit. <laughs> I don't know. I, Does she have hair on like her feet? It looked like she had hobbit feet. <laughs> but anyways, I thought she did great acting. I like the supporting actresses and actors. Um, I don't think I had too big of a problem with the story. I thought I had the ending figured out of who the bad guy was going to be, and I wasn't wrong, but I was wrong in the way that he was a bad guy. So it was a pretty nice little plot twist. And, oh, speaking of plot twists, the way they feel, don't go in expecting it to be like a normal um, origin story movie where you're going to get the origin story first and then they get into everything else. This one puts it, it's like a wormhole. It's like 
it goes in, you get a little, you get a little origin story and then you get back to the movie. Then you get a little more origin story and you get back to the movie and all the way through the movie. So, okay, so like it was back. weird. Yeah. It was weird to me to do it that way because you don't see a lot of shows or movies that do that. I'm not going to say it was a bad thing. <laughs> Umbrella I did Academy. Not, <laughs> I didn't not enjoy it. So just keep that in mind. You're not going to get the origin story up front. If that's what you're wanting. You're going to have to pay attention throughout the movie. Um, so on to the final thing that I got to talk about for ketchup, and we can all talk about it. I'll talk about my piece oh, of we're gonna the do this taking now? of Deborah Logan. Oh, oh boy. boy. Hopefully you guys participated in this, and we can read some of the chat over there. I didn't, I get, any, I did. I didn't get any tweets, so uh, I don't know if you guys got tweets from any of our podcast listeners. <laughs> To add no. in, but uh, fuck all y'all. Sabotage. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I felt like I was watching an episode of Supernatural. So, I'm going to tell you right now, I wasn't impressed. Um, I didn't have any jump scares. I did have two hair-raising experiences. And it's because old bitches are scary. When you're in a dark room... And one goes past you at the speed of light from into the next room. That scares the shit out of me. I can't handle it. So that did raise, that did give me the cold chills. It did raise the hair on the back of my neck. I thought the story was pretty good. I, I enjoyed how they were putting it all together and with the dementia and, um, and everything else that took over with that. If that's how we want to say that she was possessed. Um, the story was pretty neat. There was a couple of times when they were trying, when you were trying to figure out where the story was going, I liked how they did things and how sometimes they shut it down. So you're about to find out who killed who. And then that person just dies from bad jujus, howling mm -hmm. voices in the background. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, what else was it? There was something else, but she was creepy. She did a good job. How about job them old lady boobs? Oh. Those old lady boobs were where it was yeah, at. Yeah, those oh, old lady boobs. I'll never yeah. forget. And the old lady boobs that looked like they were attached to her back, her old lady butt. That was pretty yeah, good. Yeah. So, um, there was, I was going, there was something else I had, but I sort of lost it. Shit. Quit reading chat. Right? No. <laughs> Fuck. It'll probably come back to me while we're talking about it because I don't want to keep holding it up trying to think if there was something else I wanted to say. Well, I'll, cut, I'll cut in and maybe it'll jog your memory when I, when I get to it, but I'll tell you what I thought about the movie. Um, for a low budget, I don't know how much it was. You could tell it was a low budget flick. Yeah. Uh, I thought yeah, it was I'm glad you said that. I remember that. Really, that. really well done movie for a low budget flick. Um, the acting was okay. The... Um, the cinematography, okay. the filming itself was like, yeah, just okay. It was, I mean, my favorite guy was the guy that drove the bus, the little van. And when he, he's, he's got, finally he's had enough, freaked out. And he's like leaving and he's like, the bus is pulling out right fucking now. And they didn't want to leave. And he's like, you got to stay. And he's like, you know what? Fuck you guys. I'm out. That was the best acting in the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was out of there. Um, I, I like the way they tied it in with Alzheimer's and kind of like a research thing. Uh, what I didn't like, and, and we, I kind of talked about this before, was the way I always want every goddamn thing explained exactly what happens to make something happen in one of these movies when they leave it open and you don't know what happened. And so they attempted to do that, and now I see why the movies don't do that. The story of the possession from some, what was it like a French guy that killed people along? Explain to me what I, cause I've already forgotten. It's been two weeks since I've seen the movie. Uh, He's trying French to open dude, the seals to hell. Basically he was dying. He had some disease. He was dying. He was trying to complete this ritual of, for some snake God, basically to grant him immortality. And in doing so failed, but somehow is able to possess 
other bodies. It somehow found its way because into Because they didn't put Deborah salt Logan. on his bones and burn him. Okay. Well, I assume it was, it was one of those, like, unfinished business sort of things, because he was one kid away from yeah. completing the ritual. So mm -hmm. I assume you already got a good amount of evil juju flowing around in you at that point, just not quite enough to tip you over the edge. So he's a vengeful, unfinished business, classic ghosty. They just spent team. so much time on this Alzheimer's ang angle. Just flush it all down the toilet with some weird voodoo, half-assed, cockamamie, doesn't make any sense shit. And now that's well, why the bitch is crazy. But there is a reason why I did this. It's the money. It was a low-budget movie, and it wasn't a paranormal activity where you can put four movies in until you get the final solution why things are how right. they are. So they needed to cram everything in it. I think, I think without that so. weird serial-killing guy snake god ex explanation i think you just i see i, I could have done I without all that, that to, i actually found that to be kind of interesting i think it was different enough from the majority of horror movies in that vein that are out there that's not just oh guess somebody else got possessed by a fucking demon like it was something that was different enough to, to at yeah. least make it more interesting i'll go with that um, i'll give it that i just feel like it made the movie weaker i feel like i think they could it was riding a high for for me the movie was kind of riding a high and when they i don't know the explanation for what happens at the end or what has been happening to the lady to me once you hit that point and you realize what it was it just kind of went yeah um i don't know i i because there was all this suspense and all this what's going on and it was creepy there were several times like Nugget said there was no jump scares. I don't know that I, don't I would call any jump that. scares, but there were several times in that movie that I paused it, got up, and left the fucking room. I'm like, fuck this movie. I'm like, uh-uh. So I had this that scared the shit out of me. Like, no. I had the subwoofer kicking all the way up, too. When I'm, when I'm watching horror movies, I get concerned that I'm going to be doing something with my hands and they're going to be close together, and then I'm just going to, like, accidentally jump and break a finger. Like, <laughs> terrifies me. Right, so I'm sitting there, and I'm literally hands and fists, white knuckled, like you have to have like an oh shit handle. Wow. To make sure. <laughs> yeah, just like my, I clench my fist so hard because I'm afraid that I'm gonna like oh cross my hands or something and jump and just snap and I, it's irrational, but okay. So, oh, just a little irrational for <laughs> sure. Not my most irrational fear though. I don't think fuck lakes, but um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> But I, it had enough of that where I just like, I know something's coming. I know something's coming. I'm white knuckling this. It, well, like, come on. When she teleported up on top of that. Bitches oven, on the stove. Bitches on the stove. <laughs> that ruined. gave me a little, oh, what the fuck? And then. What do you mean ruined? The window. Ruined. You still like that? I wish they You're wouldn't have done. You're letting all my heat out. Yeah, that was, that was a cold chill moment. <laughs> that was a cold chill moment. Just I like, mean, you bam, knew it was right coming. There. But you didn't know that's what was going to be done. They're like, how yeah. the fuck are all these nails in the window again? <laughs> like, see, the teleportation... Shy damn near kicked his dog when the window <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah, see, the, the teleportation, I think they ruined. I wish they would have never did the whole spirit can turn off and turn on camera. Because that ruined it for... Wait, is that what happened there? I didn't yes, think Yes, because you never there. see her was, fully... Uh, yeah, she's I know. I thought there that was just there. a teleportation. Like it was. It was instantaneous. In yeah. yeah, it was instantaneous. But no, he's Not right though. The camera. He's he right because if places. you look at if you look at some of the the footage of the stoop, first of all, they've got this fucking camera and they've got it oscillating, so it's yeah. moving right. through the Why hallway. Would you Why through you didn't hallway need it to? You could see the whole anyway. fucking hallway from one shot. You didn't need it right. to move. But there were shots that where like she's in the middle of the hallway, and then the next thing you know, it like cuts, and she's further down the hallway. And I'm like, why is it doing that? She's clearly not teleporting. They're just editing this footage to I make it a little that bit was more like fast forwarded. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, she's standing there for I, I a while, like so, when somebody because... goes into a. Well, maybe, but then maybe they should because she was it just standing I there. Felt like yeah. that ruined it for me. Like. I wanted to see her whoop, right. like go up there, like teleport. Yeah. I just didn't want it to be like, she's there, she's there. But what about so the reveal? Part, like, like when it comes to, when it, maybe they didn't have a CGI budget. Maybe they spent all their CGI budget on the fucking, oh, boy, fucking eating the, the unhinging kid. your jaw and swallowing a small child. Yeah, because that, once they finally turned around and you saw and the light started coming on and I'm like, she's got that fucking kid's head in her mouth. <laughs> I was like, oh, and then she like, and unswallows it. 
and her face is all yeah no nah. i was like god damn what the hell's happening to this lady she turned into a snake uh-huh <laughs> yeah so then what got like what helped what lowered some of the the other things for me was what i wanted to what i was trying to remember was the whole feel and again we i go back to blair witch the documentary feel is not like those. my jam. It just killed it. Like it I killed like it those movies. Me. I don't, Dude. man. I feel like I miss too much because, like, like when they ran away. Okay, they put the shit in the fire. It went, and they're running, and they go pan face gone. I'm like, yeah. I want more. Oh, oh I'm I sorry. Why did the sheriff get shot? Who shot the sheriff? Who right. shot the sheriff? Did, 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 did the old lady take the sheriff's gun time. and shoot her? That makes no sense. Uh, that's, nah, I think, I think you made her shoot herself. But that's but, again, yeah. that's again, this is a way of making a movie with the least amount of dollar available. Like right. you 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 know, the, those well, like well, action. Work in some practical effects then, yeah. man. Practical effects aren't that expensive. It it just but depends, it, but it's just kinda I think the way they wanted to make the movie which is more believable in a way is from the narrative that you guys praised in the beginning was it's a documentary about Alzheimer's. So yeah, I see where you guys are coming from, but you know, from just saying, saying it's an independent movie, how can I Maybe make, I'm how being can too I, hard on it. how can I be, how can I be believable and make it a, at least a little more, a little bit more believable, right. you know? So, Hey, let's make it like here is recovered footage of, um you know the documentary crew that tried to shoot this documentary so you know that's what they were going for i agree with what you say i would love to have a different but i feel like for me that kind of added the whole i'm i'm watching a documentary right now about alzheimer that turns completely wild that's what it did for me and to go to the jump scares thing for me that's what i try to say it's there are one or two in there but it's more like oh shit something's gonna happen and it doesn't but then you're so suspense, you're like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? It's a suspense that it's scare. Gonna... Yes, yes. Yeah. Like where the whole atmosphere is there, and you're like, oh shit, something. See, I find most jump scares happen. to be cheap anyway. So yeah. when you can they set are, it up, so, so that, but see, when you can set it up so that you're anticipating, fuck, something's getting ready to happen, fuck, 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 and then it doesn't. I think that's even better sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and, I'll and, give you that. And I think what the movie did for me, I think I don't know. It's. I think it was the 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 win, m window scene or something. There was like this one thing where I thought there's gonna be jump scare, and then there wasn't, and all of a sudden there was. Yeah. It's just right. like what the hell. So, and <sighs> I honestly believe that this movie is for being independent. I think it's better in my eyes than Paranormal Activity back in the day, just because if I just compare. Mm. I just because if I compare the things that, but this is my opinion on it. Like I, I see where other people might disagree, but I paranormal activity first two hours. That's I mean not two hours. It felt like the first two hours was nothing. You were just like trying to like look is something going to happen. Oh, there's a noise. Okay, something going to happen, and then the action happened and the movie was over. Yeah. So this movie kind of gave me a little bit more like suspense feeling. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest horror movie by any means, but it's something different. That's why I wanted you guys to watch it because that's why I watched the movie so many times. Because Paranormal I, I Activity, the one with the mask. Uh, no, Paranormal Activity oh. is the one with the demon corner cameras there, and there's a corner camera there, and, and the flags out of the, 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 the room, footprints yeah. in the flowers, kills yeah, the dog yeah. in the basement. That's like a d demonic thingy, and then there's yeah. something with witches or cold in the end. I don't know. It's just like I lost track in how many there are. It's kind of like a Saw movie. Like the first is kind of cool, and then you kind of lose interest because there's so many of them. Yeah. Um, oh, but here. yeah, I mean, those are just my points for things like. Uh, with a camera, especially with how they do it. I, I, I'm tired of this Blair Witch kind of things too, but in that case, it kind of makes it more, in my eyes, believable that they're shooting a documentary or trying right. at least. So. Yeah. Speaking Ooh. of scary movies, did you guys see they're making a new Chucky movie? Again? Yeah, I think it's, oh, like, a I I think it's like a reboot. My cousins that were older than me Fucked with me and my other cousin. We watched the first Chucky movie when it first came out, and that night we were trying to go to sleep, and the door to his room creeped open, like, eh. and they had taken his My Buddy doll 
out of his room and fucking brought its head oh, around the no. corner. It's like, hi, I'm Chuck. Nope. You want to play? <laughs> oh, that shit my pants. <laughs> I couldn't watch movies, scary movies for like a year after nope. that. Yeah, no thanks. All right, guys. Well, we're running on about we're doing a run two hours and 15 minutes. So, yeah, run through scores. All right. Uh, Six DJ. out of ten. Oh. <laughs> Was that, no, is that yours? Yeah, it was mine. Six out of ten. From a like critical point, not yeah. from my bias point. Yeah. I'm done with that. TJ? Four. four. I'm going six. Okay. I didn't like it. I'm going, like, I, I think to me that was... I feel like it's a below average movie because it's so low budget, but I feel like it's an overachieving um, and see, that's why I said I feel like maybe I'm being too hard on it. Right. So I'm gonna say six overall. Like I, you know, I feel like that's, it's a, I feel like it's a, a low. You know, I feel like it could be a four. Um, I feel like, I feel like if someone, if it was a big budget movie, I don't think that they would have done it that much better. I'll say that. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Uh, I'd give it a five. So, okay. That's a straight up average movie for me. So, so six, 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 five, five and four. Five. So and in general, we average like out to five. a five. Yeah. Yeah. So still worth awesome. watching. Yeah, still worth watching for sure. Uh I'll grab a dice real quick if Do we it. wanna roll this out. Uh oh. I'll throw a news thing out real quick. Or are we gonna do that after the dice or are we gonna are we finishing up? Run through the like game news really, really, really fast. Because well, I wanna try to keep these. News, so oh. I'll just throw it out there. I read something about uh oh god, fuck, why I need to talk about it and it goes away. Uh Batman. Who played Batman, newest Batman. Ben Affleck. Or, Yes, Ben Affleck is out as Batman because he does not like his own script or the where the script is going. That's surprising. Yeah, it was a thing with Zack. Thought, was it a, like an argue, like a disagreement with Zack Snyder or something? I don't know. I think so. I've seen yeah. I've seen um, tabloid headlines about it. I haven't because he's he's directing it too, right? As a, you know, self directing. I don't know. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that he wrote the script. Day. Oh, it don't matter to me, brother. Hmm. Now Let's I'm excluded well. from this, right? Or me and yeah, Pascal both? Me and yeah, TJ, so we kill around. Buddy. We're out of west. Four. I think I want to do a four. And, now I and then I feel like I have two movies, and I want to roll dice if I win for the, which movie it is. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. You're one and two. I'm three and four. All right. I just don't like the way you shake that. <laughs> it's a one. I already forgot. Was I a one and a two? Yeah, you were one and a two. Nice. <laughs> Look, I think uh, Deborah Logan's coming after me. Um, <laughs> so I want us to watch, and it's a movie I haven't seen. So it's actually both of them I have not seen them. Okay, that's um, exciting. Monsters Ball. Okay. What? Not with not the Billy, cartoon with Billy fucking Thornton, Billy Bob Thornton and uh... and Heath Ledger. And doesn't it also have and Holly, Holly Berry? Berry? Yes. Yeah. Holly Berry, Heath Ledger. I only, I never heard about this movie. We watched a documentary on Heath Ledger the other day, and it was like they talked about it being one of his best movies that nobody knows about. Heard of it. From I've 2001? It, yeah. 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 Okay. Two hours. Drama? Romance? Academy Award winner. Oh, wait, no, that's wow. for Halle Berry. Yeah. So, so guys, if you want to get in on this with us listening and in chat, Monsters Ball. That's what we'll be talking about next week. You guys should watch it. Oh, Shy, did you find the how? Oh, you need to put that shit in here. Right? You need to link that, clip that shit, and put it in he here. He said, I bet your ass stopped talking about churches. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think somebody clipped it. I'm not. There was several clips all around the same time, so I don't know. Good. Great. So, Monsters Ball, it Monsters is. Monsters Ball is on the list, guys. Chat, so you guys. We guys. What you think about it? Yeah, make sure you watch Monsters Ball this week, and we're all going to discuss you it do? Tuesday. Send us, send us some, send with us some of them tweets, and let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about it then. Moving on. Were we done with movies? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done, done with my part. Okay. I just so, talked about my my uh, Ben Affleck being out as Batman. I thought it was so interesting and way late to the party. Um, if you were a postal worker, our friend Nick um, contributed some news this week. He he, I see. 
you know yep, that was he I got um going to. saw an article where i guess the master chief collection halo yeah. is now coming to pc and it's going to include pretty much every game except for halo 5 so now halo reach is going to be included in that which it should be yeah um so we're looking at halo one two three four any, odst and reach um any news on multiplayer uh yeah well, i mean it's all going to be in there forge and everything okay now interesting the article that i read first of all what fucking took so long i mean this is almost like a non it's almost like a non-event now because right kind of like who cares past its prime i would get it in a heartbeat combat evolved and then yeah. oh yeah i'm good i plan on getting it i think that would be fun to co-op through man. but at the that same time it's like to... what the fuck like yeah. why didn't they do this when the, when it came out on on xbox one i guess <laughs> to sell xboxes I guess. Yeah, sure. um, well, it was a broken mess when it came out. That it was, but it's not now. So, um, I'm glad that they're in, including Reach. Um, I read the article. I read stated that Reach multiplayer would be included for Xbox One users automatically. But if you wanted to buy, if you wanted the the campaign or the firefight modes, fire whatever modes, that you'd have to pay. Uh, a fee for that. I don't know if that's accurate or not. That doesn't sound right. Um, I had always heard we were getting reach added to that, so I, I'd have to fact check that shit. But um, it's coming to PC either way, so I'm excited about that. I would be more excited if I didn't already own it on. If I didn't already own it and not play it on yeah. Xbox, you know. Same here, so. same here. But it's it's a it's a fantastic. It's like one of those things you have to own. You have to own yeah. it. It's it's such a good collection. Um, that's all the gaming news I really have. Uh, Did we have some. one more though? Well, I have. I feel one. like there was a. I feel like there was a big argument that we got into. There wasn't a big something one. else from Nick, and we were glad that he did it. I don't know. I know there's something coming, like at the end of March, twenty fifth, to be exact. <clears throat> It's gonna the br that sets everybody else. Fires to what? Whatever, Mister Afterthought. It's going to be an afterthought. <laughs> I'm not even interested in it. That's what no, you said. I, I know now. I know it still is. They still focus on the main game. But what I just read uh, the other day, which I so stupid from being this fanboy that it's actually made co-made by Dice with the whole developer was Criterion Games, who uh, took the workload off Dice so they could focus still on the main game. So, I'm excited, but hey, I'm not, not going to get into that. That's something I'm for excited. next week because the official, for it too. the official trailer comes out on Thursday. There was a leaked intro demo thing that was found in the game files, and somebody found it. So, if anybody likes BRs, look it up. Speaking BFI, of BRs, it's leaked. Speaking of leaked, um, Zach, you said something earlier about uh, data mining Apex Legends. What'd you find? Yeah. yeah. I did. What uh, what TJ was talking about before we lose it was the Disclex Xbox One X oh, console. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, thank data you. mining in Apex. Let's see if I can find... Oh, no, snap. They data mined and they found eight new characters through data eight mining. Eight new, okay. Eight, eight new characters. It looks like we have a character named Crypto, Hasaria, Jericho, Nomad, Octane, Prophet, Rampart, Rosie, Skinner, and Watson. Watson are all data mined with pictures, so they're not totally no goes. Um, they have like portraits of them hmm. that they found. Uh, they haven't actually officially announced anything, but it does look like we're we'll be getting Octane with the season pass because. The splash screen got leaked. It got updated into Origin and leaked. So Battle Pass with Octane on it um, sometime in March. And Wasn't it also Battle Pass leaked. supposed to drop today? Uh, I was supposed to start. They'd never given it a solid date. Oh. Yeah. Or price. Didn't you say mention the price so might have been leaked? I did, but they also okay. seems that they, they uh, leaked the price with it at 980 apex coins 970 apex coins whatever uh so like however many v bucks. bucks it costs for the fortnite 10 pass. bucks 10 bucks yeah. it's essentially it's the same like you bucks, have to buy a yeah. thousand coins you'll have 30 left over which is kind of a shitty thing to do but it drives a little bit of extra sales for them um can you unlock point. battle did they announce anything that if they you like play, like fortnite you get anything it? about that they haven't said anything. Nothing's come out. I think that's something that we'll 
we'll wait and see. Um, I know they have said that the Battle Pest is going to be just cosmetic, but maybe you'll be able to get... I mean, just cosmetic is a good way to say that they're not going to break the game by giving people things that'll just automatically win. Right. So, um, I have some more Apex news. Go for it. They've banned 355,000 cheaters on PC alone. <laughs> hey! How do you do that? How many? Uh, 355,000. Pascal called it. <laughs> How do you... I want to make PC people get alone. banned. I need to know these things. Uh, so it's just their automatic uh, anti-cheat detection software that's doing it at this point. There's no reporting that needs done like in PUBG or anything like that. Um, gotcha. They're they've uh, they're growing their in-house anti-cheat um, group to be on the lookout for it more. They've been in contact with other anti-cheat companies who run anti-cheat software to figure out how to close it down a little bit more. But they're not officially releasing any information on what they're really doing and breaking down on, just so they can try to stay a step ahead of as many cheaters as they possibly can, just because it's a cat and mouse game. Um, they've also talked about looking at, like we talked about before, um, ways to maybe not necessarily punish, but cut down on the amount of people who quit when they don't get the character that they want. Um, and looking for a way to add in a decent reporting system for bad behaviors within a game. It would be yeah, nice if they awesome. did like a reverse XP for backing out of a game. No, what the, the bad behavior thing is good if it's any like those like... I don't know if it's League. I think it was Smite. I think I played Smite, actually. Or I, I don't like MOBAs. But the, if you report a player for bad behavior, or you're a bad behavior player, you always get queued up with other bad behaviors. You get put in that and low the good priority players, queue. Yes. Yep. That so happens. that's an easy fix. Overwatch does that, where you get endorsements for being a good player, and over time, yeah. you get extra loot boxes for free. Like so your punishment is to play with free. assholes like you. Not your punishment you, but... and longer queue times is not just Ooh. assholes like you. Uh, in League of Legends, it's also longer queue times. They call it the low priority queue, so you don't get filled in with games. That was that would suck. That would suck. But I mean, it's free, so you can always just go. Uh, start another account and still be a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, I want to I want to save this discless console chat for next week because I think it's yes. gonna be yeah I think it'll lengthy be lengthy and heated. Um, what else? I got more. Did you guys see that there is a new Doom movie trailer out? No. For the next new Doom does it have movie? The Rock? Is the Doom rock Annihilation. In it? it does not have The Rock in it. And as a matter of fact, it's so bad that someone posted on Twitter they wanted um, Bethesda's take on the movie. And they just said, we're not involved with the movie. <laughs> It looked so bad. It's like a 30-second trailer. You should check it out and watch it. And honestly, I don't think the trailer itself would be that bad if it wasn't for this voiceover part they have where some chick just goes, Die! 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you should check that. Doom Annihilation. Check nice. that shit out. Quick crash um, grab. Uh, anything else? Uh... Did you guys see that uh, Tech Nine uh, released a new song on TSM Myths Fortnite stream the what? other the, last week on the seventh or the sixth or something like that? He debuted a song on this dude's that's Fortnite. That's pretty stream. awesome. Is that not pretty awesome? I think that's really cool. Um, I didn't. I just caught it. It popped up on my Google feed, and I thought that was awesome. And then that following Friday. He released the EP that had that song on it. Which reminds me, Snoop Dogg is now streaming over on Mixer. Thanks, Pascal. Uh -huh. And um, yeah. for keeping us updated on it too. Yeah, dude. But you you said something earlier in our chat that I, I kind of wanted to challenge you a little bit on. You said that they must have they must have paid him to come there because he sucks. No, 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 no. They. I think what happened is because it happened before when growing platforms try to buy somebody famous pay somebody famous to be on that platform 
to get an audience to get the viewer base gotcha. the same thing happened with youtube and facebook so i didn't say like they paid him because he's he sucks and i'm i'm glad that the fans of him like like it but you know what literally today i, I watched it on past streams I, I scrolled through he literally was for an hour and a half you heard the game in the background but there was like a brb screen and people were trying to communicate with him and there was only 100 people watching at that time no interaction, nothing. I don't even think he realized he was probably too high for that shit that it was a BRB screen. <laughs> I don't but think nothing. he get high anymore. But, you know, and like he doesn't do it for the money. He gets I, normal. I don't, Maybe. Think, <laughs> I don't think he does it for the money because obviously he doesn't need money. Right. Like he does. He has enough. I think he's, he, he's he, legit interested in it. He, I mean, he may suck, he like is, you said, he does. But but I also think that they made sure that he's going to mix her or not uh, to Twitch. Think so. I guarantee 100%. Yes. Um, because it's a good interest. Like the first day he came to Mixer, he had 15,000 followers in the first right. day. Well, and I it's know 15,000. I know streamers 10, that Mixer million. paid to come over. You know, there, there are well, streamers that Mixer paid yeah. to Facebook leave Twitch. And thing. Facebook did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. they paid more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> um, they did. But so rents, it's not, I don't know. Certainly not unheard of. But yeah, his, his yeah. streams do kind of suck. Yeah. Well, you got out of Mixer too fast because I saw a thing with the non-partners today. Yeah, embers looking for a thousand able. people to get a thousand Fuck. embers. Yeah, and they wanted to test it out. You could apply for it yeah. and be they, your embers as a non-partnered person. They're looking at something yeah. similar to <laughs> affiliate, which is not yeah. like when you're partnered, you get obviously the spark and revenue and free games. A buddy of mine just got Division Two Gold Edition just for being a Mixer partner, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, you get, um, it's happening. Do tell you me, now. tell me you heard that. Okay. So I've heard teacher, voices in the background. Nothing happened here yet. Nothing happened here. Yet. So my, you did hear that good. voices yeah, in did. the background? Something. No. Or a plate? Like, no, plate it was more like a, know, like a plate. No, it was like, yeah. mm, it was kind of like that. Yeah. Like that. There's no yeah, train going that. by. I can hear the train. There's no train. Yeah. Dude, you, you all like Kentucky's haunted, man. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Wes, they have embers now. Um, they're trying it out. They want to get it's kind of like the bits, right? So they're going to do that now, um, where most likely it will be implemented that you can have bits for everybody that is not partnered either. Or Interesting. Embers. So revenue other than donations and so I'll from start back on Mixer next week. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, growing. I like Mixer. You can do duels, dual cast. Yeah. I mean, Against I could. I'm not allowed, I mean, but other people do it. I've seen plenty of people who are not. I mean, who didn't even want right. to be affiliate. They're like partner or nothing. So yeah, <laughs> shies out. Fuck this bitch. I'm out. <laughs> On the haunted podcast, we have the we have the name of the episode. Yeah, the, the haunting of the podcast. Oh. Um, did you know? Real quick news that I don't know if they're news. I don't know if I mentioned it before. And I don't know how I missed this if we didn't miss it. But there's a real life, um, like, what is it? Live action animated style uh, Lion King movie coming out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Didn't we touch on that? I don't yeah. know if we did, but back. I just thought about it. I'm like, and I just watched another trailer and I'm like, holy shit. I want to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks good. Disney is going balls to the wall. I, I like Dumbo. Beauty and the Beast. You got Dumbo's guy. I like come Beauty out. and the Beast. I like Beauty and the Beast as well. Uh, Disney doesn't make bad shit. Harry Potter kick since we're bringing up. Well, see, I don't know because I saw like a thing on eBay where I could get like all eight episodes for like 39 bucks on Blu-ray, which I thought was really low. And I'm scared because everything on the package is in like French. Uh, so I'm scared I'm going to order it and it's no, not going to be in English. You, should, you should have all of them in English. Just order like, that shit matter. digitally. Yeah. Well, and the only reason why I say that is I got a coupon right now for 15% off my order. Yeah, no, you can even say $39.99 plus 15% off. Most of the, the European deal. disc, 99 The only question, though, is it will be formatted appropriately for his Blu ray player. Yes, mm -hmm. it will be. 100%. I'll try it. I'll see if they got a, a refund thing. Just look at the back a, of it and look and see if it says P A L or N A T whatever. What is it? Those region locks, they're gone with Blu ray, aren't they? They're Are also they? DVD thing. Yeah. I haven't had I, I had a I, I Okay. Know, hey man, I, I believe you. 
I, the, like you didn't hear it here. Been... Yeah, I, don't I don't know. I just I was just own. iffy about the price. That that was the only thing that scared me because at work it's seventy nine dollars and I couldn't believe I found it brand new on eBay for thirty bucks. Dude, it's so saturated. So many of them out there. Yeah. I don't. I don't think so, man. I don't know, man. Because it also it also thing. says like two thousand eleven. Like it's saying brand new 2011, and I'm like, what's that have to do with anything? Why are you marking that it's 2011 Blu rays? Yeah. Rarity. Kind of weird. So I'll probably just get them this weekend, so hopefully I might get some of them. They're always going about. on sale at Best Buy. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Um, but that's, I don't know, that's all I got for any kind of gaming news. Did? It's $49.99 right now at Blue. At- Best Buy, it's thirty nine ninety nine right now. That's the DVD. Fuck that shit. Yeah. That's what I have. Fuck get that some, shit. I'm out. Fuck that shit. I'm out. We get some weird and wacky stuff. Yeah, I got some wacky wacky. Let's do it. Um, so this one's a little older. <laughs> I you just happened wacky to... wacky. What? <laughs> I just wacky? Ha- oh got a brand new. Oh pillow? god, it's even brighter there. Did it? Oh, <laughs> weird and wacky news for the night. This one comes from 2016. But it just popped up on my Facebook the other day. I don't know why. But it just made me spit milk out my nose. Mm, so, yummy. Um, for those who don't, don't like breastfeeding in public, this uh, mom was getting shamed about breastfeeding. And the person pissed her off so much that she took her titty out. And she sprayed this woman with breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> are you <laughs> serious yes <laughs> yep after being told to go somewhere private to feed her baby <laughs> the mom took her titty out and sprayed her in the face with breast milk oh my god good aim on her part where are you reading this from um i i found the article on the one i picked that that had like the best stuff with it was uh scary mommy now, do they have a video of this? ScaryMommy.com. I don't think so. I don't think it's being recorded. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, I didn't know if he, like, saw a video and thing, went and huh? watched an article about it. or yeah, no, 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 no. I, no. That would be... I mean, I would watch that video. <laughs> because I don't know how well I could pee on somebody's face from a distance. This She squirted her in the face with titty milk. I dig Different it. Different kind of squeezing going on, though, to get that to right. happen. Wes, right. you, you, you have a subscriber, Pornhub support. You just contact them That's and ask true. them about the video. I, I'll get on that. <laughs> Reach out to yeah, my affiliates. Like <laughs> yeah, so there. I mean, there's there's a whole article and there's some funny things in there. How she's pretty much made fun of the woman's husband that he couldn't keep his. That I guess he couldn't keep his eyes off other things other than her breasts and act like they'd never seen a naked woman before. Good for her. I know I'd right. be watching the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her. And that's all I got on it. I mean, I'm not going to go into this whole article, but if you guys yeah. want to read it, I found the I thought the best one was on Scary Mommy. Don't shame Scary a breastfeeder, y'all. Yeah. You get squirted, squirted with the milk. The so face. That's all I got on the weird and wacky news. Hopefully that one brought some laughs today. I'm going to keep Doom Annihilation trailer up. I'm done. Yes. Well, anybody got anything else before we go? I think I think we nailed it all, man. I don't think I have anything else left. Saving the talk for the discless more. Xbox next week. Discless yeah. next week, yes. All right, cool. Well, then that is going to wrap it up for episode twenty-six, guys. We appreciate you all hanging out with us while we do this live. Did you know one. the haunted one? Did you know that you can download this podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Google what? Play? Hell yeah! What was in there? What? what, what? <laughs> Anywhere else you get podcasts? Stitcher. Uh, Ratchet cast. No, I don't even know. Uh, you can find it oh anywhere. Shit. Hey, podcast. We there you go. One thing. Did we? Motherfuckers, we fought the man. And we, oh, we did fight shit. the man. We did fight the man. Yeah. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I got a, a, a copyright claim notice on one of our podcasts that I'd put up on YouTube. And um, SME Entertainment Group. Uh, claimed our video because we did show a, a clip of a YouTube of a movie trailer 
that had 29 seconds of a song in it. Uh, I think it was, uh, or maybe it was less than 20 seconds. It was like less than 20 seconds of a song in it. And they flagged it. I don't monetize my YouTube videos, so I'm not making any money off of them. Um, so I'll be goddamn. That's why I don't. I don't play songs on the intro to this. I don't. We, like if we take a break, I don't play songs because I don't want it to get copyright struck, um, and I don't want the VOD to get muted. So I don't monetize my YouTube video. So I'll be damned if I'm going to let somebody else monetize my YouTube video and take the money, right? So, mm -hmm. and it took me a long time as a YouTuber to get to a point where I would make things that didn't get claimed. So when I saw that this video got claimed, I got pissed and I disputed it and went to YouTube and explained why I was, dis why I didn't think that the copyright claim should, should be legit. And, um, I sent it off and didn't hear anything for a while until yesterday. And yesterday, I uh, got an email saying that, uh, congratulations, after reviewing uh, your response or your whatever, uh, SME Entertainment has decided to release the copyright claim on your video, blah, 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 blah. So that's one for us, zero for them. Fuck you guys, quit trying to steal other people's shit. That's right. Yeah. I'm just saying because you know it's not like we're not we're not robbing people stuff here, and um, so many people, <laughs> so many people make so much money taking other people's content, and just like there's a guy I don't get into this. Videos, there man. is this oh that oh, there's a guy that literally, <laughs> literally comes and and records Tim the Tatman's streams and then uploads them in 20 minute segments as videos on YouTube. And his name is like Tim the Tatman High Octane. And all he does is steal every bit of his content that he puts out, puts it up on YouTube. Dude makes like at least $3,000 a month. He's, part, he's a YouTube partner. He monetizes all this shit. He makes, he makes a living uploading that guy's shit. It's bullshit. So when, for, when a big company tries to steal your shit, made me mad so yeah i'm glad you guys mentioned that because i got a little heated just now <laughs> <laughs> that's what this is for yeah it's therapeutic like that so yeah, so, yeah. we won celebrate always all right so yeah um that being said you guys can download the podcast on itunes spotify google play wherever you listen to music wherever you have music service wherever you listen to podcasts and if you would like to help us out share it with a friend share it with five friends share it with 10 friends share it with your mama tell her to share it with her friends we need more people to get to us and we maybe wonder about the titty milk titty milk's okay now nah, let it let it surprise her ass um <laughs> <laughs> other than that, I bet that woman was you could leave us a review on <laughs> itunes milk. that would be amazing as well that way we know what we suck at and what we don't suck at so anyway uh we'll be back next tuesday at 10 p.m to talk to you guys about some more bullshit including the new monsters. discless xbox and, and monsters, monsters ball watch that's right. it if you want to be involved in the yes. discussion hell yeah all right guys say bye we're out of here auf wiedersehen bye, bye we're out of here we're out of here <laughs>